hello, 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 everybody. Happy Friday. Happy Friday to you. We're going to do air babies tonight. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Hope you're all having a great day. I'm going to try and tune in right here, see if everything's uh, working okay. So far, so good. There we are, Hummingbird. Hi, Hummingbird. Nice to see you tonight. Crystal Clear is in the house. Hi, Crystal. Hello, my friends. Hello, hello, hello. We're playing with Air Babies tonight. Friday night, Sharon Brown. And hi, Sharon. Nice to see you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, got some things going upside down already. <laughs> oh, seems to be back online. All right, already got... I already got the loop-de-loop -loop on one of my videos. Hi, Carla. Nice to see you tonight. Thanks for saying hi to me. Always good to see that the chat's working. Happy Friday, everybody. Thanks for the likes. Hope you guys are having a great day. Shaking up my cards around here. I'm going to play with a Mystic Palette tonight. I love the Mystic Palette. It's gorgeous. It's one of Ciro's. One of Ciro's decks. I'm going to play with that. I'm going to play with the Witch's Tarot again tonight as well. Mystic Moon, Oracle. Love that one. Just sat on my table here for a minute. Some love cards. You know, because I'm looking for love stories myself. But these can talk about homework, family, the neighbors, the kids. Y'all know how that works. I will be doing... Uh, Live personal readings. Hi, Carla. Thanks for grabbing a reading with me already. If you'd like to grab a reading with me after we're done with Air Babies, it's easily done. Smash that join button. Become a member of the nation around here. Uh, you get a reading with me every time you uh, re-up your membership. And over here, you get to determine how much time I spend with you. There's five different levels over here. You can get a reading for as little as $6.99 here tonight. Or a $9.99 super chat like Carla did right there. That'll get you about an 8 to 10 minute reading with me tonight. And all my existing members, huh? If you catch me live, always check that super chat area right there. And uh, see if you have a milestone marker. Uh, right there in that money button. Right by the happy face. Click that, my members, open it up, and see if you've got your milestone marker available to you. All you got to do is click it. That's the green banner that comes up. i give you a shout out and pull some cards for you. Hi, Cassandra. Nice to see you tonight. Who's that? Smokey's in the house. Hi, Smokey. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Thanks for the likes. Thanks for making sure that old subscription button ain't red. It's that beautiful gray. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's rock and roll tonight, huh? Air Babies. The order that we'll go in is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Hey, Tonya. Tanya, hello my friend. Well, that looks like that'll work. That looks like that'll work, huh? Let's tune in. Play this old ancient card game called Tarot. We definitely want to uh, invite our friends on the other side of the veil to play with us, huh? That's the fun of Tarot, ain't it? Tarot, love team. We're going to read for Air Babies tonight. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. I want to thank you for clarity and accuracy on my part. Help me see. Help me speak what I need. Help all my Air Babies see and hear what they need. Let's take all these amazing pictures. Put together nice, clear, accurate stories. For all my friends, highest good. Thank you so very much for this love team. Cannot do this without you. Appreciate you, my guides. There's Nicole. Hi, Nicole. Nice to see you tonight. 
Buzz is in here. Dave's here. Hey, Dave. Nice to see you tonight, my friend. All right. My Jimmy Gems. My Gemini. Gemini. Tap into the Gemini Collective Love Team. Thank you so very much. Hey, Star. Nice to see you tonight. Gemini Collective Love Team. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Let's rock and roll. Let's play some tarot, everybody. Hello, Gemini. Rambling Mike here. Gonna play a little bit of tarot with you. Thanks for tuning in again one more time. Appreciate your views. You know I do, Jimmy Jim. I always want to take a minute of gratitude as well and thank all my Geminis that ever blessed me over the years. Large or small, Gemini, if you ever blessed me, appreciate that so very much. So very kind of you, my friend. I'm playing with the Mystic Palette tonight. I'm going to see her Marchetti's beautiful decks. Relationship spreads. I'm going to freestyle with it. Relationship spreads. They can talk about homework, family, the neighbors, the kids. Of course, I'm going to pull out some love cards because that's what I'm looking for around here. Also going to throw uh, cards from the beautiful, beautiful Witch's Tarot and the amazing uh, Mystic Moon Oracle as well. We're going to top off your spread, Gemini, with a couple of major arcana. From the Starman, the AKA the Bowie. All that being said, let's do it, Gemini, 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 Jimmy Jam. Let's cut it. Overall, what's going on with Gemini? Let's take a look. Mystic Palette. A page of cups showed up. Oh. <laughs> Ah, oh, a beautiful little page of cups showed up around here. Well, love might be in the air these days. Hmm, kind of hoping that's new. Now, look at this right here. This has got a little turtle on it. It's got little, like, thought bubbles or something. Somebody may have been thinking a minute about a, about a love offer right here. Could be my Jimmy Gems. Could be somebody with some water in their chart. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on around here, Gemini. Not a bad card as an overall. Somebody's thinking about you or you're thinking about somebody. Give me one. What do we got? Oh, who's this, man? A face card. A big old king just showed up around here. Uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Male or female. I don't put gender on my face cards. Could be, a, could be an age difference around here. Somebody's thinking pretty sweet these days about somebody. I like a king. I like a king. You know, they're all, um, well, they're kings. They're uh, entrepreneur energy. That that king right there, uh, Gemini, can be extremely intelligent, male or female. Um, it can seem a little cold and detached on the outside. But inside, they're ooey gooey, soft and chewy. Full of agape love. What's going on around here? Somebody's been thinking. Somebody's been thinking for a minute about talking. How come Seven of Swords came out? <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. I was just putting some butter on the toast around here. How come Seven of Swords showed up, huh? <laughs> it's, got, it's got our eagle up here. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> They'd be, they be looking back at two swords in the camp. Uh-oh, uh-oh, this can be an apology card. It can be an apology card. It certainly can. Somebody thinking about apologies. Somebody, somebody may want to put butter back on the toast. <laughs> I was buttering up the toast, and then that seven of swords eagle showed up around there. You know, they look like they're... Coming back in. Somebody wants to come back in around here. <laughs> oh. oh, here we go. Here we go. What's going on, Gemini? Oh, because Ten Pentacles showed up. Somebody's thinking. <laughs> it's got our two cans on there right there. Our two cans, and they're stacking up all those coins. Well, 
I don't know what to think about all this, to be honest with you. Somebody's having second thoughts. Uh, maybe somebody let Ten of Pentacles go, you know. That can be the little white picket fence and the big pink house. Huh, Gemini? Looks like somebody wants to swing around and stack some coins. Maybe somebody fell in love. A queen of cups just showed up around here. Somebody fell in love. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Uh huh. And somebody wants to come on back around. They want to, I would say they want to make amends with that page, you know, with their little, their little uh, slow moving, overthinking turtle right there. Let me show you these pictures. It's a great deck. That old slow moving, heavy thinking turtle right there. They got a cup up by their heart. Well, 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 well. Maybe they grew up. You know, this is a deep love card for me. The Queen of Cups, the Queen of Love. Looks to me like somebody wants to make amends. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, it's Jimmy Jam. <laughs> you tell him to go sit down for a minute. Oh, nine cops. See, somebody's making a wish. Somebody's making a wish. They, they may want to have a little, go have a little, have a little cup of wine or something with you, Gemini, or vice versa. And that's a make a wish card. It's this page right here who's really a queen, who's really in love. They done figured it out. They done figured it out. They probably didn't, I don't know, they probably didn't treat you right with seven of swords there. What you do, you tell them to go sit down, think about themselves, maybe they did. Maybe they did. Let's see what's going on around here. Gemini, oh. <laughs> A lot of face cards going on around here. A lot of face cards going on around here. I might be picking up on Gemini's energy. Are you thinking about somebody's? These are vice versa, however it resonates with you. But that is a page of swords right there, and they definitely got a plan, don't they? Look at their, look at their eyes, look at their face. Uh, you know, that's our little looky-loo, ain't it? It's also a communication card. They look like they got a plan. Maybe to try and fix something around here. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, okay. A little more, please. A little more. Oh, wow. They definitely want to fix it. Boom, da -de boom, da -de boom, boom, boom. Look at that ace of wands showing up around here. Oh, somebody wants the spice back in their life. <laughs> oh, somebody wants to put some spice back in their life, Gemini. All in all, I got a king and a queen on here. Somebody's in deep thought, man, about, uh, I don't know, man. Making the star happen. That's a beautiful card of healing. It's also a uh, first major arcana. That's a card of healing. Dreams coming true. Got a three cups under that, a reconciliation energy. <laughs> it's this page right here. It's this page, Gemini. <laughs> oh, they got their eye on somebody right here. They got their eye on the star. Oh, there may have been a problem at one time, huh? Uh huh. Well, let's get the witch's tarot out. And let's look specifically at these two right here. Now, let me put them that way. There's a king of swords. There's a queen of cups. Now, I think this queen, be they male or female, is the one that is in this page energy right here. Wanting to reconcile. Wanting to heal. Huh? 
the potential of Ten of Pentacles. Maybe maybe these two were Ten Pentacles at one time. You know, the little white picket fence, the big pink house. Maybe they were, but maybe something got crossed up. Old Seven of Swords is on the spread. But somebody's definitely deep wish and deep thoughts about a passionate new beginning. Okay, all right. So let's take a look at these two right here. Let's play with the Witch's Tarot, huh, Gemini? We got a King of Swords. We got a Queen of Love. We got a page that's got a plan. <laughs> I think it's that queen right there, male or female. All right, give me some on this king over here. What's going on? Oh, oh, this king. These two have been keeping an eye on each other. If there has been some kind of fallout or separation. That king just pulled out a uh, page of swords, too. Look at my two friends. <laughs> I would say these two. Um, these are communication cards, but it's sporadic communication, you know, at best. So these two definitely know each other, in my opinion, what I'm looking at right here. And they've been keeping their eyes on each other for however long. That old Seven of Swords card's been in the middle of these two. A little more on this King of Swords, please. Gemini. <laughs> you guys are mirroring each other. You guys are mirroring each other if you resonate with this. Oh, they got an Ace of Wands. I got this page over here. They got an Ace of Wands. Oh, no. They boom, da, they boom, 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 boom. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. The, the, the lovers. Where's the lovers card at, huh? Gemini. Gemini. Well, there's a magician. Wow, this king. Male or female, they're pretty magic. Oh, this is a Gemini card as well. It's a magician. It's a number one card. You know that old as above, so below. That old as above, so below. The magician jumped out on that king right there. Gemini, Virgo, Aries. <laughs> They're pretty magic, whoever this is. Oh, wow, they might... They might want to play. The Fool came out. That's a risk taker, ain't it? That's somebody that uh, can consider jumping off the love cliff in this story. Well, let's take a look at the queen that's on this right here. The king looks uh, interesting. These two are mirroring. They're mirroring each other. They, I would say they miss each other. <laughs> I would say they miss each other in more ways than one. With that ace of wands, huh? Both of them showing an ace of wands. Yeah. All right. Queen of cups. Tell me about this queen of cups right here. What are they thinking and feeling about all this right here? Got a star over them all. Oh, wow, Ten of Swords. Oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, Ten of Swords. Mmm, no wonder Seven of Swords is here, huh? Yeah, that Queen of Love. Oh, oh, who is this over here? Is this the Emperor? Probably, probably the Emperor in the story. Uh-huh. Um... Oh, very much so. Oh, yeah, both of you two have been keeping an eye on each other. Ten of Swords. Can't talk about the ending of a painful cycle with the promise of a new day to dawn. Uh, but I can see, you know, there, there's definitely been some problems. Seven of Swords and Ten of Swords is on here. I should I should have pulled my Emperor out. I saw him. Ah, uh, the Empress came out here on the Queen of Love. The Empress, where's my Emperor at? I saw him. Well, maybe he'll come back out. I should have pulled him. All right, the Empress is here. You have to trust me, I did see the Emperor over there. Maybe they'll show back up. So the Empress, she's so full of love and abundance. Hmm? I don't know if she's forgetting though. I don't know if she's forgetting. I don't know if she's forgetting that uh, Ten Swords, huh? 
A little more of my Queen of Love, please. My Empress in this story. Yeah, Queen of Swords came out. <laughs> uh, one step at a time, Willis. What you talking about these days? Queen of Swords, she does have her hand out, though, huh, Gemini? She's got her hand out. Uh, nothing but the facts around here. We can talk. We can talk. We can talk. Oh, look at this divine feminine energy right here. It's a moon card. Yeah, who goes there? <laughs> who goes there? <laughs> Oh, oh, it's you. <laughs> oh, oh, it's you. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, the heartbreak is so shaker. Oh, Lordy. Well, I'm going to shake these swords out. My queen of love right here, my empath. I'm going to shake them out. Here we go. Out, 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 out. Is this Gemini? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Out of Gemini's heart. Out of Gemini spread. Six cups, though. Six cups with these two mirrors, huh? I don't know. It looks to me like sweet thoughts and nostalgia when times are good and things are sweet with you two. Here they come, though. Here they come. Definitely here they come. Jumping off that love cliff. I want a couple more of my queen of love, though, huh? <laughs> uh, don't take off. Then Ace of Cups just showed up around here for my queen of love. Now, that could talk about um, pouring that love cup into yourself for a season. Also talks about a direct connect with the divine. Oh, look what came out over here, a major arcana. It's got that eclipse in it. And uh, this is the judgment card. <laughs> oh, oh, it says something about karma. Oh, oh. Well, anyway, there's definitely, there's definitely an eclipse that happened over here. Somebody had an eclipse in their life. See that jump? I don't know, man. The old 11 11 card came out with you two. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Six of Cups and Four of Wands. Six of Cups and Four of Wands with my two lovers around here. Wow. Well, let's play with Mystic Moon. Yeah, that Emperor is definitely hiding. Definitely hiding in this deck. I know who he is, or she is. I saw him. It's an Emperor and Empress story. Looks like the stubborn one had some kind of eclipse, uh, eclipse factor over here. Uh-huh. They want the Empress, male or female. Let's see what Mystic Moon has to say, Jimmy Jam. Let's see what Mystic Moon, these two, man, mirror each other. They are, man, they are. Wow, ascending. Wow. Well, after the karma card right here, look at, man, the sun. The sun came out over here. Um, maybe that old emperor is uh, really having a change of their heart and their ways, maybe. Gemini, Gemini. Wow, inner child came out. Oh man, damn, Somebody, somebody's actually been doing some inner work on themselves over here. They are ascending. Um, judgment. That old eclipse, inner child. Wow. Here you are, man. Wow, that's powerful. That says self-worth. Look at that. 
Look at that, man. That's a real breakthrough for somebody in this story right here, Jim and I. Somebody has fallen in love with themselves around here. Wow, look at healing. Ooh, look at Divine Masculine. I should have left the Emperor. I, I, one day I'll learn how to play tarot. I see this as Divine Masculine in this story. This is a four of wands, six of cups story right here. Two people mirroring each other. Healing came out. Healing in the arena of self-worth. That's absolutely gorgeous. Ascending. There's been some karma. There's been some karma. Doing this inner work, man. That's absolutely gorgeous. Hey, hey, hey. Maybe, um, got a couple of season cards right here. I don't know. Uh, maybe you two had a fallout back. I don't know. The fall would be 2023. And uh, maybe you guys will be dancing in the sun by the summertime. Just saying, had a couple season cards come out right here. Maybe you two be dancing in the sun by the summertime. Let's see what the love cards have to say for my jammy jam. My jammy jam, divine masculine, been really doing some work on themselves. Let's go. Let's go, Gemini. A love card. What is that? <laughs> I can't read that font. It says reconciliation. Oh, Lordy. Oh, Lordy. Oh, they could be showing up. I mean, they show up as a page right here. That's a nice card for YouTube. It's resonating. Getting to know each other. Starting from scratch. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I love you guys. I love you guys. Look at this. Express the love. Get ready. Get ready. Express the love came out. Maybe, maybe for my divine fam. Maybe playfulness. Playfulness. <laughs> now, don't blame the piano player because somebody's been calling in their soulmate around here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, somebody's been calling in their soulmate around here. <laughs> hey, engagement is here. Maybe by the summertime when the living's easy. Says your love life is ascending. Oh, looking over here, divine masculine. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. It's a nice story for somebody. Somebody been believing for this change. Give me a major on here, Jimmy Jam. Jimmy Jam. Jimmy Jam. Wow, justice came out. That's a card of karmic balance. Now it says, don't be all up in your head. Don't be all up in your heart. Keep yourself nice and balanced right here. Love justice on that. Love justice on that. Give me one more major. Gemini. Oh. <laughs> it's the it's the it's the wheel of the return. <laughs> it's it's an omen of good luck and good fortune with you two if you're resonating with this. Justice to the wheel. Hey Gemini, if you made it this part to read. Thanks for your review. Appreciate that very, very much, my friend. Hopefully I've earned your subscription as one of your tarot readers. If I have, smash that subscription button for me, huh? Ring that bell. Hit that I like Mike button, if you would, Jimmy Jam. Definitely going to play some cards in a few short days. Do what's best for you. I see real change in the stubborn one over here. All my love. May all your dreams come true. Talk to you soon, Jimmy Jam. Bye for now. Okay. Okay. Well, sometimes divine feminine just don't want to play. By the time divine masculine figures it out. So do what's best for you, my friends. Okay. 
Let's do it again. Libra. Libra, huh? My Libra babies. Let's see what's going on around here. Hey, Annie. Nice to see you tonight. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, Lulu. Nice to see you tonight. Hey, Jeff. Hello, my friend. Nice to see you. Is that my Libra? It certainly is. Crystal Rose, hello my friend. Jillian, hi Jillian, nice to see you tonight. Mad Max in the house, hi Max. Let's see what's going on with my lovely Libras. My lovely Libras, Athena, hi Athena, thanks for swinging by, nice to see you tonight. Zaya, hello, hello, nice to, Zaya Bob, hello my friend, nice to see you. I feel good. I feel good. I like I like this energy that I'm seeing around here. I've been seeing it. I've been seeing it for oh divine masculine. I love divine masculine. They're not always the fella. They're not always the fella. I call them the stubborn one. I have a tendency to read for what we call divine unions and all that kind of stuff. You know those contracts that we sign before we come here and play in the three D. You know those. those Seem to be the ones that I read for. And uh, the stubborn one ain't always the fella. Just saying. Most of the time. <laughs> but not always. Not always. <laughs> yeah, so I love my divine masculine. And they seem to, something's going on around here. Something's going on, man. It starts getting a hold of their old heart shocker from what I can see. And uh, Divine Feminine uh, usually has got it going on. They fly nice and high. And uh, they got their world lined up pretty good. And um, yeah, a lot of times by the time Divine Masculine gets it together, Divine Feminine be well, well, well on their way. So I'm just pulling cards around here, huh? <laughs> here we go, here we go. Let's see what's going on with my Libra babies. My Libra babies, Libra, Libra, Libra Collective Love Team. Let's see what's going on. Hello, Libra. Rambling Mike here, gonna pull a couple of cards here for you today. Uh, I'm gonna play with the Mystic Palette, Zero. Ciro Machete, they put a special back on there for me a long time ago. Ciro Machete's uh, Mystic Palette's absolutely gorgeous. Now these threads, they can talk about homework, family, the neighbors, the kids, but I'm gonna pull some love cards. I'm also gonna play with the classic uh, Witch's Tower. We're gonna free, freestyle with this as well tonight, Libra. My Mystic Moon Oracle. That one, that one's something else. A Mystic Moon Oracle. And um, a couple of majors from the Bowie. All that being said, my Libra babies. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what the tarot wants to talk about with my Libras. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Appreciate you, Libra. You know I do. Let's go, love team. Libra. Libra. Libra, let's cut it, let's cut it. Queen of Wands showed up. 
Not sure what to think about this Queen of Wands. Somebody, somebody's got some fire in their chart. Somebody's got some fire in their chart. I don't know what to think about that Queen of Wands. I need more cards on that. I need more cards on that. Male or female, a fire sign showed up as your overall, my Libra. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Queen of Wands. Let's go. What's going on around here? Libra, Libra. Oh, this Ten of Pentacles came out. This Ten of Pentacles came out. That's the little white picket fence in the big pink house, huh? Wow. More, please. Libra. A Knight of Pentacles. The slow pony just showed up. The slow pony just showed up around here. Knight of Pentacles. Maybe they got fire in their chart. Maybe they got earth in their chart, Libra. The slow pony just showed up. You know, that's the one that's been dragging their feet. I don't know. It looks like they may be picking up pace. This is a beautiful three pentacles. that came behind the slow pony right here, my Libra friend. That's a card of collaboration. That's a card about building a firm foundation, you know, towards the Ten of Pentacles right there. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Anyway, here we go. A lot of Pentacles here. A lot of Pentacles. You know, um, there's a king of pentacles right there, Libra. A lot of earth. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. The slow pony showing up with three pentacles set by the old uh, king. King of Pentacles right there. Wow, they got, I, I, I don't know, maybe you got fire in your chart, my Libras. You know, this is somebody that I would say they think they're, you know, good looking, exciting, charismatic, fun to be with, magic. Uh-huh. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lordy. Eight wands. Eight wands, oh lordy. Looks like the rocket ships are taking off around here. Oh lordy. <laughs> That's a communication card, you know. Mikey calls that uh, Cupid's arrows of love showed up around here with the slow pony. Libra, my very sexy Libra. I guess so you may have fire in your chart. Uh-oh. The star came out. Um, the first major arcana. The star. You know, that's a healing energy right there. It's a dream. Because <laughs> it seems that some... I'm giggling right here. You know, I'm having fun with these spreads. Because somebody here, here, you know, probably this Queen of Wands, uh, you know, they built the high tower up here. The slow pony took so long, it gave it gave my Queen of Wands energy. Now, this somebody knows their worth, male or female, Queen of Wands energy. Gave them enough time to build the, the high tower. <laughs> oh. Oh, what you talking about, Willis? <laughs> what you talking about? Who goes there? <laughs> Who goes there? Who goes there? Because eight wands came out to seven wands. A slow pony coming galloping up in your story, Libra. Hmm. A cut, a cut, a cut. I cut because I wanted to see what this is about. The hermit. 
That's a Virgo major arcana. That's the guiding light. That's the guiding light has showed up around here. And this beautiful four of wands is what I cut to, Libra. It's probably divine masculine right over here, huh? Whatever zodiac they are, they may have some earth in their chart. There's a Virgo major arcana. There's also an Aquarius card here. Aquarius star. This is about somebody feels led and guided these days to, you know, Dancing around the maypoles. Oh, look, it's the Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> oh, what's going on with our DMs these days? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. King and Queen of Pentacles, Four of Wands, the guiding light, the healing of the star. Oh, Lordy. Oh, wow, and the Wheel of the Return. Oh, there's our yin-yang right there, huh, my Libras? The yin-yang, the wheel of the return. Oh, and a big old giant ace of cups. Oh, oh Lord, hey, what's going on around here, man? Ooh, somebody's got a big old ace of cups I'm going to share with my Libra, baby. That's what I'm reading. Or it's divine masculine having some kind of heartfelt change. This has been coming up. This has been coming up in my spread over and over and over again. <laughs> um, it's the Nine of Pentacles right there. This See, this is divine feminine's energy for me these days. They are my independent, self-assured, confident business person, male or female. I see, I see divine feminine's energy right there, man. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm wishing the best. There's a world card right there. Now that does talk about an old cycle ending and the potential of a new cycle to begin. The wheels here too, and Ace of Cups is on this. Four of Wands. Divine masculine, male or female, the slow one, the stubborn one, and these love stories right here. They're going to pick up the pace. They're going to pick up the pace. Eight wands, get ready. Get ready if this is resonating with you, because uh, I got a king and a queen of pentacles right here. The four of wands and a wheel of fortune, ace of cups, and a new world. Let's see what the witch's tarot has to say, huh, Libra? Huh? They may be a day late in the dollar store with that world card right there. They may be. Because you got it going on. This divine feminine that I'm reading for here. That nine of pentacles. That means you may have cut a lot of energy out of your life lately as well. Know your worth. Know how amazing that you are. Definitely not in the mood to be breadcrumbed. No, no. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, but six of cups showed up. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> oh, Lordy. <laughs> you know, that's uh, sweet thoughts and nostalgia when times are good. Things are sweet. <sighs> oh, Lordy. Give me one. Give me one. What's going on? Another world card came out. Two world cards. And a chariot. Big Cancer. The Yin Yang Ponies. Two world cards right here with Six of Cups in the middle of it. Ain't that interesting? Maybe about an old cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. You're calm, my divine fam, huh? Look at her, she's looking right at Source. I see the falcon as the Source. She's, she's, she's going to Source right there, or he's going to Source. Because the chariot's coming, man. <laughs> chariot's coming down the road. Here we go. Here we go. Give me a couple more. I really want to know about Divine Feminine Energy right here. I see Divine Masculine in this story. You know, the old slow pony. No? Are you guys matching energy? The star. It's a 
card of healing. Look at look at these pictures right here. She'd be talking with Source about, you know, healing. Even though the high tower is here. The high tower is here. You know your worth. I see both of them talking to the star. Let's go. Let's go. Tell me more. Tell me more. Libra. Libra. A magician showed up. Imagine that, right? Is that old major arcana, as above, so below, as within, so without. The magician showed up around here on Six of Cups and two world cards. <laughs> Definitely a Libra card right here, two swords now. Come on, swords. You know we ain't playing games no more. We want our 10 cups. If we ain't got our 10 cups, we are good. We are good. I see you right here, Libra. I definitely see you, my friend. So, probably reading for my divine feminine Libra right here, huh? Tell me about it. Tell me about it. Libra style. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. You're definitely thinking and talking with Source about this. That's my Seven of Cups wizard right there. You know. Knowing that the cup that you choose is the cup that you get. <laughs> oh, shit. But believing for the best with the star right there. I gotta say that. I gotta say that, man. You got it going on with it without this whole divine masculine showing up around here. And, and, you know, you're in good company, man. Something's going on with their heart chakra these days. It says to me that you would like to end the painful cycle. It does. Oh, I'm shaking these out, man. I'm shaking these out. Here we go, Libra. Out, out, out. Get out, get out of here. Out. Oh, look what came after that, man. Eight wands. These two are mirroring each other. This eight wands is over here, you know. <laughs> it's over here on this side of the story. Oh, there's an apology card. Look at this right there. It's that doggone page. Because it looks like somebody's getting hit right in the back of the head with a tsunami of love. Let's put that right over there. Let's <laughs> put that right over there. Oh, oh, yeah. There they are. 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 Male or female. The old stubborn slow pony has showed up around here in Libra spread. Well, let's get Mystic Moon Oracle. Let's get Mystic Moon Oracle out here. We did. We shook those swords out. Nate Wan showed up over here. So, looks like there's some talking gonna be happening here soon. Let's go. Let's go. Mystic Moon. Well, you know, this is a minor arcana empress card right here. If you're looking for the empress on your side of the story, Libra. This is minor arcana empress for me. This is fifth dimension. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, you know who I'm playing. You know, you know who I'm talking about. You guys play in the 5D. <laughs> yes, you do, man. Give me one. Give me one about my lovelies right here. <laughs> the observer. The observer. Uh, probably both of you guys. Never really took uh, your eyes off of each other. Keeping tabs and all that. It's a season card. It says Sama. That card has been coming out regularly around here. Wow, look at this is in here. This is the judgment card. It's that eclipse right there. That's the judgment card out of the witch's tarot. He wanted to show up. Now, 
Somebody may have been dealing with the energy of the eclipse. That does say karma. That does say karma. <laughs> uh, give me one on here. Give me one on here. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh it's, it's the peacock showed up on our emperor. You know, male or female right there. Ooh. Oh, the slow, the, what did we call that? The slow ego death, huh? Oh, oh the slow, painful ego death going on around here. Divine masculine. Oh, lordy. Give me one, man. Wow, look at that. That's his vibration. Uh, now, I know, I know the Libra I'm reading for is already rocking that. But all this mirroring energy, look at what's going on over here, man. Look what's going on over here, the ego death. Super fun, if you ask me. Well, let's get a love card on this, huh? My Libra babies, my Libra babies, my Libra babies. One of those journeys, huh? Oh, wow. <laughs> it's uh, paying attention to red flags now. <laughs> now, Willis, what are you talking about over here? <laughs> what are you talking about? Now, now you now when we talk about vibration, if you're already flying high, it only takes about ten minutes of talking with somebody to see if their vibration has really changed or has begun to change. You know what I'm talking about, my light workers. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, and then and then and then attraction came out. That's about being in the now and being in the moment. It is an energy of let the past be in the past and don't put too much pressure on the future. But, um, you know, if you're all tuned in, you can't be deceived. You know, you can't. These cards say that Divine Masculine is having a heartfelt change. So. <laughs> Passion and Romantic feelings. Give me another one for my Libra. 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 It's that one, Libra. You know, the romance of a lifetime. <laughs> Give me one more for my lovely Libras. Hey, these cards have been coming up for Divine Masculine. There is some kind of heartfelt change going on. Some kind of heartfelt change going on with them. Hopefully they're not a day late and a dollar short. Yeah, here they go, man. Express the love. Express the love right there. Express the love. And the honeymoon. On oh, the honeymoon, Libra. The honeymoon came out. It says, uh, enjoy the bliss of time together. Give me a major arcana on here for my Libras, please. My Libras. <laughs> my Libras. My Libras. Oh, <laughs> Divine Feminine's moon just showed up. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> oh, Lordy. I'm giggling. I'm giggling. I am this Divine Feminine's energy right there about... <laughs> We're going to make sure, Mike. We're going to make sure. Because here comes the chariot. Here comes the chariot, my divine fam. Here comes the chariot. Oh, and Michael. That's a reconciliation energy. Followed by your wheel, too. The wheel, no but a good luck. Oh, and now here is Libra's card. Here is Libra's card. It is your justice card. And it reminds you not to be all up in your head. It's right here with attraction. 
Remind you not to be all up in your head and don't be all up in your heart. Keep yourself nice and balanced right now because it's a story about the lovers. So I wish you two the best. That I do. That I do. If you made it to this part in the reading, Libra, thank you for your view. Appreciate that so very, very much. Um, hope, hopefully I've earned your subscription. If I have, smash that subscription button. Ring my bell, Libra. Hit that old I like Mike button if you would. Appreciate that very much. And I'll pull you some cards in a few short days. I see a lot of heartfelt change with Divine Masculine these days. Again, hopefully they're not a day late and a dollar short. All my love, my Libras. Love and light. Bye for now. Okay. Aquarius babies. Aquarius babies. Aquarius. <laughs> you know, you know, man. Sometimes they can dilly daddle too long. Too long. Lose the best thing that ever happened to them. A lot of times it goes that way. All right. Let's pull some cards for Aquarius. My lovely, lovely Aquarius. That old, that old uh, Witch's Tarot been pulling out that old Eclipse Moon, didn't it? Twice. Gemini and Libra pulled, pulled that Judgment card right there with that Eclipse Moon, that Karma card. The old Ego Death and all that. Hey, babe. Nice to see you tonight. Who else is in here having said hi to? Thank you, Nicole. Wonderful, my friend. Is that Valerie? Hi, Valerie. Hey, Sarah. Nice to see you tonight. BBG. Hello, BBG. Nice to see you tonight, Athena. Hi, Athena. Thank you. Thank you, babe. Well, I root for love on this crazy planet. Thank you, hummingbird. Gwenevine, hello, my friend. Nice to see you. I see you did, Jillian. All my love, my friend. All my love. So glad. So glad. All right. We are going to get over there, and I'm going to put my list together here for a minute. If you would like a reading with me tonight, um, it's easily done. Smash that join button. Become a member of the nation. You choose the amount of time that I spend with you in your reading over there. Or a one-time super chat, $9.99. I only take my payments through YouTube right here. I don't got time to look around and see where you may have uh, thrown me 10 bucks. Um, I give the man their cut. It's just simpler that way. It's easier. And you get your read. You get your read right in the now and in the moment. Or, of course, all my existing members, you catch me live. Make sure you check that super chat. Open that money button up and see if you got see if you got your milestone marker down in there. And we will pull cards for all my friends here as soon as we're done. With our lovely, lovely Aquarius. Aquarius. My lovely, lovely Aquarians. Hey Bobby. Keys. Hello, my friend. All right, love team. 
Let's take a look at Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Aquarius. 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 Let's rock and roll. Hello, Aquarius. Rambling Mike's here. I'm gonna play some tarot with you, my Aquarius friends. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate your view. Thank you for your many, many gifts over the years, Aquarius. Oh my God, the sun. The sun's here. The sun showed up, Aquarius. Imagine that. Anyway, playing with uh, Cyril Marchetti's deck right here. The Mystic Palette, Aquarius. Beautiful deck. Has its own flavor, its own style. Uh, I got it years ago with a special back on it. Um, but they can talk about homework, family, the neighbors, the kids. Although this deck generally talks about, you know, what we call divine unions. Also got the witch's tail right here. Going to freestyle with that Aquarius. Got the Mystic Moon palette. Got some love cards and a couple of, couple of Major Arcana from the Bowie. Let's do it. Let's rock and roll. Let's see what the tail says for my Aquarius babies. My Aquarius babies, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Five of Pentacles showed up right here, Aquarius. Could be about somebody missing you. You know, Five of Pins can talk about feeling left out in the cold. Uh-oh, Aquarius, who'd you put on? <laughs> who'd you put in the timeout chair? Go sit down. Think about yourself. Huh? Um, generally, I see that as a soulmate card. Generally, when one feels the burn, of, you know, the coldness of the winter, the other one can feel it too, but definitely got somebody around here feeling the coldness of the winter, Aquarius. Oh, there they are. There they are. What is that? Oh, that's the Knight of Cups. Oh, Aquarius. <laughs> Hi, Aquarius. Here's my cop. Oh, Lordy. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> oh, we got a smooth operator. <laughs> yeah. Aquarius. Hi. Damn. Oh, what's going on around here, Aquarius? What's going on around here? Are you already talking to him, Aquarius? Are you already talking to him over there? You may be, you may be. Uh, two of Pentacles came up, you know. That's uh, that's the dance and change right there. You, know, you can see you're sitting on the wall. Oh, Lordy. What's going on, smooth operator? <laughs> oh, Aquarius. Oh, Aquarius. Let's go, man. Let's go. Oh, Lordy. The, oh, the double chariot rider just showed up around here, Aquarius. Oh, it's got the wheel in it. It does have scales that seem to be balanced. It's got a couple of... So this is like Aquarius right here, you know. I got the smooth operator. They've already showed up, Aquarius. Because they missed you. I don't know for how long. But they missed you. And then the, is this Aquarius right there on, on, on the wall of balance, huh? Thinking about getting in that chariot and riding, <laughs> riding down that road one more time with an Aquarius. Could be, huh? Let's see what else the tarot has to say. Aquarius dealing with the smooth operator. Oh, Lordy. Oh, Lordy. Give me one, Aquarius. Aquarius. Oh, wow. Queen of Pentacles came out. I don't know. I don't know. It's, uh... You know, if you're going to go down the road with them, they need to play for keeps for real. This is kind of, you know, that non-committal lover, though, ain't it, Aquarius? Is that why you're on the wall right here? 
Is that why you're on the wall thinking about getting in the chariot with them? Because, you know, if you're going to play with them, they need to play, you know, the queen of the world. This is the queen of the world, king of the world, huh, Aquarius? If you're going to play with them, they need to, they need to know who they're playing with. Or you know where that time out bench is again. You know, it says to me, Chris, it says to me that you're hoping. There's nine cops. You're hoping that they're going to give you that solid chariot ride right there because it would look two cups came out. There they are, right? They're all stone faced with each other. <laughs> Down here, the cups seem to be ooh la la, hi. Well, hi. <laughs> oh. oh, two of cups. Oh my goodness, there's three cups. That is a card of reconciliation. Happiness and joy and bliss. I mean, got a couple of soulmates around here to say the least. There's Michael right there. Temperance showed up. The angel of the middle way. Oh, Lordy. Hey. Hey, maybe, Aquarius. I don't know. I don't see you rushing into anything. This is your energy right here. Oh, yeah. There's that four of wands. I don't see you rushing into anything with them, though. There's a hermit right there. We're going to talk with the gods about this one for a minute. We're going to spend some time with the divine. There's a card of healing. There's a card about maybe, well, you know, I could call them divine masculine, male or female. There they are right there. Ain't they? Ain't they? Ain't they, Aquarius? There they are. <laughs> Sent you straight to the gods. <laughs> oh, Lordy, they're back. <laughs> oh, look at it, man. Look at Aquarius. Look at your star right here, though. I love you, man. You got the gods with you. You got the gods with you, Aquarius. I love you. Okay. Okay. Let's play with the witch's tail. Something about four wands here, man. Something about that old 1111 story right here. Let's see what the witch's tarot has to say, Aquarius. I got you on the wall. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's go. Start off with them. Okay. Again, it, it uh, you know. Says Aquarius is maybe wishing for the best. They need to prove themselves though, don't they? So I want to throw out some cards right here on Divine Masculine. Only got a couple cards for them right here, male or female Aquarius. Showing up with a cup. Showing up with a cup. So, give me a couple cards on old Divine Masculine energy right there. Well, wow, that's interesting. The world card came out for them. So they want to end an old cycle. And they want a new cycle to begin. It could be this cycle right here, Aquarius. There's our Seven of Cups in the Witch's Tarot with our old very wise wizard in it, pointing their finger right here in the lover's face. Telling the lover, the cup that you choose is the cup that you get. Oh, well, you know, most of these cups are filled with ghouls and goblins and ghosters and toasters and all of that. Of course they want their star baby. Oh, oh, <laughs> more, more, please. More, please, on the divine masculine energy right here. Oh, there they are right there. They're coming for you. Hi, Aquarius. <laughs> Hi, Aquarius. How you doing today? Oh, I'm just sitting under the tree. I'm trying to enjoy my trying to enjoy my day. <laughs> oh well, I brought a cup. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see it. Yeah, they're not sure if you're gonna take their offer. 
Oh, but they are hoping and praying that you're going to, Aquarius. The sun, the sun showed up on divine masculine here. Again, male or female. Oh, because it's been lonely without you, man. They know they spilled the cups. They know they spilled the cups. Oh, because the wizard's right here. The cup that you choose is the cup that you get. <laughs> oh, look at him, man. I don't know. It looks kind of... Oh, divine timing. Hey, man, there may have been some real change in this divine masculine right here. See? That's the death card. That's about death, birth, resurrection, and major transformation. I'm rooting for them. I am. They want to dance in the sun again. They know where the sun's at, Aquarius. I'm just saying. Just saying. They know. <laughs> they don't know where you're going to take their offer. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that. Looks to me like they're going to put their best foot forward. So, your call, huh, Aquarius? What's that? Oh, there. I told you. Looks like they're going to put their best foot forward right there. That's three pinnacles. It's a card of collaboration. Just, you know, these are the arches. They're not McDonald's arches. <laughs> there's, a, there's the alchemist jug right there. And, and and they're working on a pinnacle. That's what he's that's what he's working on right there. They're working on that solid pinnacle. Well, Aquarius, I gotta say, it looks like you're divine masculine, huh? I'm gonna say it one more time, male or female, that uh, they know the error of their ways. Um, the error of their ways seems to be the breadcrumbing. Yeah, with the wizard, seven of cups. They know they breadcrumbed you. And they know that you, you walked away. And you went up to the mountaintop. Oh, there's source right there. So you got a, you got a strong relationship with the divine. And that you ain't going to take nothing but that. That ain't breadcrumbing. That's ten pins, right? The loyalty of that doggy right there. And that's uh, a nice, you know, it's a slow pony. It is, it is, it is a slow pony with the golden coin, which confirms to me that hmm, they know, they know. They, do, they, they also know that um, if you say no, uh, they're going to have to deal with that. Mm, that's why, oh, they are hoping that you say yes. <laughs> <laughs> They're hoping that you say yes. Yeah. See these two cards right here? It's nine cups, and that is seven of pentacles. You know, that's divine timing and, uh, I don't know, wish fulfillment. Well, I kind of like, oh, there's that golden coin. I'm telling you, man. Look at all these stability. These are coins of stability. Hmm, I see divine masculine, man. Hoping and praying. Huh? The gods favor them. Let's see what Mystic Moon has to say, my Aquarius friend. Mystic Moon, what do we got on this poor Juan story for Aquarius? Aquarius, you got it going on with or without him, don't you? Definitely favored of the gods, Aquarius. I saw some cards on here, too, that can talk about your money getting better if your money's been challenging as well. Figured I'd share that with you. Oh, look at lessons came out, Aquarius. <laughs> A smack down there, right on over there. Somebody's been in school. Somebody's been listening to that old wizard about the cup that you choose is the cup that you get. Oh. Going on. <laughs> yeah. And all they be thinking about these days is when that moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's a morning. 
Oh, they learned some lessons about love. <laughs> Here they come, Aquarius. Here they go. Qu Qu Aquarius. Qu Aquarius. Oh, 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 I told you, I told you, what's happened to him? Divine timing. That showed up here with seven of pins. Seven of pins hoping to do, you know, be nine of cups, man. Oh, wow. Maybe they have done some studies. I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm having fun here with these spreads anymore. I see change. I see change in the collective. I see change in people. Give me a love card for my Aquarius, please. Damn, Aquarius, this is engagement. <laughs> Woo, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Okay, don't give. Give me one more, Aquarius. Aquarius. Oh, after a period of separation. That, that was in that story. Wow, coming to ex express the love. Oh, it's this card, Aquarius. You know, the old romance of a lifetime card. Oh, and I can't, I can't, I can't leave without the honeymoon card, the love boat. <laughs> Aquarius, the love boat showing up around here. It does say, enjoy the bliss of time together. Employ, <laughs> I'll just let it go with that. I'll let it go with that. Give me a couple majors right here for Aquarius. Aquarius. I see a lot of change in divine masculine these days. Let's go. Give me a major right here for my Aquarius babies. Hangman. I'm excited with Hangman. Boy, oh, my masculine right here. You know, Hangman's about thinking differently and feeling differently and believing differently. Hangman's about dark night of the soul. Well, they've been dealing with that old Seven of Cups wizard over there. Damn, with <laughs> a finger in the face. Cup that you choose is a cup that you get. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> hangman, hangman. Oh, it is. See, it's my masculine. There they are. There they are. Male or female. With their, with their empress detector on right there. There's my empress over there in the palace. I told you you got it going on. Look at you. Look at your palace. Aquarius. Aquarius. Favorite of the gods. Oh, my great humanitarian. Anyway, back to your emperor right there with their little empress detector on. There's the hangman. Give me one more. Give me one more for Aquarius. 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 Oh. <laughs> there you are inside your palace. It shows, it shows them right here. Now, this is the world card, okay? It's about an old cycle ending and a new cycle beginning, but I love Soros, man, because it shows an inside shot of your palace right there, Aquarius. And you got your armor on. I see all your armor on. I see all your armor on right there, Aquarius. But, uh, you know, Hangman wants to get on out of the tree. Aquarius, may all your dreams come true, my friend. Huh? Um, if you made it to this part of the vid, thanks for your review. Appreciate this so very much. Hopefully I've earned you a subscription as one of your tarot readers. If I have, smash that subscription button, Aquarius. Ring my bell. Hit that I like mic button if you would. And uh, I'll play some cards in a few short days, Aquarius. All my love. Bye for now, my friends. All right, all right, all right. What is going on with our divine masculines these days? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're having the great awakening. That's what's happening. The awakening of the heart chakra. The 
awakening of the crown chakra. So that was from the best. Shit, that can be scary in its own, you know. Let's <laughs> just try to make up a divine feminine. Anyway. Let's play some tarot with my lovelies. Happy Friday, everybody. Happy Friday. Let me get my cards up here. Okay, Nicole. Thanks for swinging by and playing. Appreciate you. Everybody hit the everybody hit the like button on the way out if you're gonna go go play with some other tarot readers. Thanks for the like on the way out. Appreciate you guys. All right, that'll work. Oh, I didn't get my sheet ready. Well, let's see what's going on over here. I'll just put my sheet together as I take a look at my friends right here. Ooh, we're going to have some fun tonight. Happy Friday, everybody. Happy Friday. There we go. This is my Carla. Hi, Carla. My Libra friend. You're number one tonight, Carla. Level two reading. Thank you, my friend. Empress Marlene. Hello, 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 Empress Marlene. Nice to see you tonight. Thank you for the upgrade. Level three with you tonight. Wonderful. You're in number two spot tonight. This is my cat. Hi, cat. Thank you for uh, four months of membership, cat. You're in spot number three tonight. Thank you, my friend. Here's my Jillian. Hi, Jillian. Nice to see you tonight. Thank you for the upgrade. Level two with you tonight. You are number four. Oh, Patricia. Hi, Patricia. Can you have a birthday reading? It's your birthday today. Absolutely, my friend. You get over here and get some oracle cards with you as well. Happy birthday to you. Everybody give Patricia a slice of cake and some ice cream, huh? I'll sing you a little song here in a minute, Patricia. Okay. I got five of my friends. That's a great place to start. <laughs> yeah, cake and ice cream. Happy birthday. 
Happy birthday. That's an Aries day. Hey, Aloha. Nice to see you tonight. Hi, Natalie. Nice to see you tonight. Carla's number one, Empress Marlene is number two, Kat is number three, Jillian Jims is number four, and Patricia is number five. Perfect. All right, get some of my majors out. Major Arcana, the 22 majors. These are major pulls. Clarify it. What a full tarot deck. All that fun stuff. You guys know what we're doing around here. All right, let's rock and roll. Hey, Sky. Phoenix Rising. Uh, Phoenix Rising, I, I only take my um, payments through, uh, uh, through the old uh, YouTube Super Chat, to be honest with you. Um, I know a lot of other tarot readers. I just I just give the man their cut, so um, it's easier for me. The banner comes up right here in front of me. I don't got to chase anything around. I don't got to look for anything. Time's money and all that, so I got no problem giving YouTube their cut. So that's really the only way I take payments is right here. Thank you, my friend. Gypsy Bones in the house. Hi, Gypsy. Thanks for grabbing a reading with me tonight, my friend. All right, Gypsy. Thank you, my friend. Level two, you're number six tonight. Oh, my Aquarius friend. Oh, that was an interesting Aquarius friend, huh? Aquarius may already be talking to that individual. Kind of what I felt with that read right there. Mm -hmm. All I can say about all those reads is that trust is earned. Right? Trust is earned. <laughs> Respect is earned. All that, right? Mm-hmm. So make them earn it. All my Divine Feminine got it going on. All right, let's play some tarot. Carla, my Libra friend. If you're in the house, Carla, uh, maybe what you're thinking about, I'm going to do an invocation here. Tarot love team have several of my friends and family I'm gonna pull some cards here for them tonight Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. I want to thank you for clarity Accuracy on my part as we play with major arcana right here um, Help me see what I need to see Help my friends see in here what they need out of these cards tonight Let's take all these amazing pictures put together nice clear accurate stories for all my friends, highest good. 
Thank you so much, love team. Cannot do this without you. Appreciate you, my guys. All right, Carla. Well, let's take a look at love, huh? I'm going to grab a love deck right here. I'm going to grab a love deck for Carla. We'd like a nice, beautiful love story for Carla. Thank you, love team. Carla, 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 Carla. My temperance showed up. Got my earth angel right there, Carla. You know, traditionally that's Michael, the archangel. And this deck looks like an earth angel to me, Carla. And, um, well, temperance, I, I, I call that, you know, the art of allowance. Allowing nothing but the best into your life. There is love here, darling. Darling, the lovers is right there. The lovers is right there. That's a Gemini major arcana. That's a Sagittarius major arcana. I got temperance to the lovers, darling. The art of allowance, allowing nothing but the best into your world, people, places, or things. There's a strong hair band here for you. A hair band showed up, my friend. Big Taurus right there. That can very much be about a committed relationship. You know, in the works, in the works. Starts with temperance, and then there's my lovers. And then there's a hair pant right there. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. <laughs> Not the strength card. <laughs> oh, Mike, it feels like we're down in the lion's den around here. What the hell's going on, man? <laughs> oh, strength card, strength. Oh, to my empress, though. There you are. There you are, my lovely. This Venus, is love and abundance. It's like a promise. You know, it's a promise. It's a promise. It really is. It's a nice promise. Talks about coming out of the lion's den. <laughs> One day. <laughs> One day. Oh, I'll see. There's that old wheel of destiny. The wheel of the change. I love this wheel right here. I love this deck. I love this deck. Well, we got temperance, darling. You know, we, 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 we don't want nothing but the best. We don't want nothing but the best. You know, this is like the best lover's card that I have in any of my decks. I think it is absolutely amazing. You know, nothing but the best. And then there, and there's a hair fan, darling. And that's about a committed relationship. And uh, it's divine masculine energy, too. Um, it would be a very spiritual divine masculine if we're believing nothing but the best, right? We want somebody spiritual. Well, you know, uh, definitely want somebody masculine, you know. And then the <laughs> this damn strength card. Oh no! I guess I just fluff up my cats over here. I feel like I'm in the lion's den. And then and then we went to the Empress right here, darling. She's loving life. She's loving herself. And uh, this beautiful wheel of fortune. You know, she's looking up from her from her life right here. And uh, who's that? You know, coming in bearing gifts. Okay. So, yes, I see love here. I do. I do. I do, my friend. Got that old lion's den right there, though. Oh, Lordy. Oh, Lordy. All right, give me some on temperance. The old angel in the middle way. Let's play with the gendron right here, my friend. Let's play with the gendron. Carla. Oh, well. It is my high priestess. 
She looks absolutely amazing in this uh, in this uh, rendition of the High Priestess, right? My Priestess of the Moon. I don't know. She looks like an arrowhead to me. I know it's a crystal, but she looks like an arrowhead to me. You know, the kind of arrow that Source would keep in their quiver. You know what I'm talking about? Oh. Oh, an emperor in a boat showed up. On the lovers. So I got, you know, I got temperance, you know, Persephone's. And uh, look at the emperor came in here in the boat on the lovers, darling. Well, you know, it's tarot. You know, it's like a promise for you right here. It is. Do some of this hierophant, please. Oh, three cups. That's about happiness and joy in life and celebrate. That's a this is about a celebration coming in here for you, my friend. Oh, oh, that's a celebration day right there. All right, over here on this old strength card. The strength card. Come here, let me fluff you up. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Some on that strength card, please. Well, it says you know what you want. Okay. There's your justice card. And that is six swords. So following the guiding light, we want something balanced and just. <laughs> something worth getting in the boat for. I see you right there. And, and this is about coming out of the lion's den. See it? Coming out of the lion's den. Something that's filled with justice. It's very nice. Justice on your love spread right there, my friend. So this is balancing the 5D over here with temperance. And this is balancing the 3D. This talks about it coming to the earthly plane. Empress to the wheel of fortune, please. Empress to the Wheel of Fortune. My Carla. The Lovers. You can't make this up, man. The Lovers came out. <laughs> oh, Laundry Day just showed up around here. Mm -hmm -hmm. Oh, the Lovers came out on Empress. Ooh, definitely a nice promise from Source Kid. Start acting like you already got it. Give me some on the Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel of Destiny. Carla, oh, <laughs> damn it. It's the old Seven of Pentacles. Uh, you know, <laughs> the Divine Timing card. <laughs> well, you know, when we put a large order and we know what we want, uh, it may take a minute to show up. Let's play with Goddess Guidance. She's got a beautiful promise from Source right here, my High Priestess. You do. Yeah, win. I don't know. Seven pins came out. This is like my magician's card right here in this deck. And it says, you're a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. Bass showed up here too for you, my friend. Um, your independence is a foundation for your strength. Oh, and your success. Oh, all right. And 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 focused intentions. <laughs> focused intentions, Bast. And you're a magical person who can manifest your clear in intentions into reality. And then, oh, wow, bam. Wow, well, bam, golden opportunity came out. That's nice. That's nice. That's where she's shooting her arrow at. Important doors are opening for you. Oh, it does say right now. Go ahead and walk through them. Wow. Wow, it may not be that long. 
Hope you enjoyed that, Carla. All my love, my friend. All my love. May all your dreams come true. My very magical person. Okay, Empress Marlene. Oh, I had a couple people holler at me right here. Let me take a look. Make sure I get my friends on the list tonight. Empress Marlene is number two, and then Cat is up. Cat is number three. Thank you, Carla. You, you little magical person. There we go. Okay. Everything's working so far. Michelle Sky. Hi, Michelle. Nice to see you tonight. Thanks for grabbing a reading with me. Michelle, you're number seven. And Sherry Snyder. Hi, Sherry. Sherry, you're number eight. And Michelle, you're number seven. Both are level two. Thank you, my friends. Oh, level threes. Level threes. Thank you, my friends. Okay. Empress Marlene, hello, my friend. Uh, we got a we got a level three here for you tonight, Marlene. Um, anything in particular that you want to look at? Empress Marlene. Okay. What source got to say? I got elemental wisdom right here. Empress Marlene, love team. What do you want to say to Marlene? My Empress. Let's go. What do we got? Oh, it's a fool who came out. That's a, that's a fool's journey. That's a reset button right there. It can be about new beginnings. Mm, I like that fool. He is super fun. He has Gabriel's horn. He has Gabriel's horn. It's about a fresh start, a new beginning. Okay, Sarah, Sarah. Beautiful fool energy. Let's go, Empress Marlene. Up on a new journey. Wow, the wheel came out, oh, the big coin on it. You know, every deck's a little different. That, that wheel of fortune has a big giant golden coin on it, just saying. That wheel of fortune right there has a big golden coin on it. <laughs> hey. Fool to the wheel. Let's go with it, man. That's an omen of good luck and good fortune. The wheel spinning in your favor. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Empress Marlene.
I don't know. Uh, I, there's some big change. There is a uh, there's a hangman. So a hangman can be about thinking differently and feeling differently and believing differently. I don't know. Whatever has been stuck. Whatever has been stuck, you may be letting stucky go. Cause I got a new world. I got a, I got a I, or I got a wheel spinning for you. Sudden change and a new world. And a new world came out. That's what I'm talking about. I'm definitely getting unstuck. And now uh, this is my golden angelic being. The wheel spin to the Empress energy. Ooh, man. Could be a lot of money here, honey. And this is love and abundance. Back on your throne again. In the land of Eden. Looking amazing, darling. Definitely says you're getting unstuck from whatever has been sticky. Let's play with some more tarot around here. Let's play with the gilded on this. The gilded for Empress Marlene. Oh, this card just give me a hard time. It's got to go, man. It's just got to go, man. I'm not going to deal with it all night. All right. All right. Let's go. Fool card, Wheel of Fortune. A new world, Empress back on her throne. Tower on the hangman situation. Change, change, change. Tell me about this fool right here, please. Uh, is this about money? What, what you got going on with money, honey? Queen of Pentacles came out with a big golden coin in her hand. Oh, this could be some kind of sudden change in your money arena. Absolutely could be. I mean, tarot talks about love and money and spirituality. In my opinion. I'm getting a lot of coins on here. I'm thinking differently, feeling differently, I'm believing differently. Different thought process for you. Brings a tower, change, sudden change, the wheel spins, a new world, empress seated on her throne, gorgeous. Yeah, what's this, man? There's a page with a coin. A page with a coin, the queen of coins. Could be some kind of new business venture. Um, lots of coins. Oh, you're building a new business right now. Very nice. Very nice. Um, wow. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Now, now we, now we, we watch out for the raton. There's a raton. There's a raton. Uh, but this could be new ideas from source, right? Could be. Could be, man. Lots and lots of coins, my friend. Lots of ideas coming out of Hangman's Tree. Epiphanies, Enlightenment. That can be with the tower. Epiphanies, Enlightenment, Hangman, about thinking differently, feeling differently, believing differently. There, I, there are some freaking ratones right there. So eyes wide open, because... Looks to me like you're heading to the land of celebrations. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. You know, nine of cups and three cups. Absolutely gorgeous. Those are cards of celebration right there. Life getting good. Life getting sweet. Wow. Very nice. Money come. <laughs> Money come now. Yes, yes. Let's go. Okay, all right. I just wanted to show them to you. You know, I mean, it's a tarot reading about a lot of money coming to you. And there's one right there and then another one right over there. Anyway, don't look like they're going to get nothing. But, you know, I mean, I wouldn't be a tarot reader if I didn't just point out a right thorn looking at your golden box. 
right? Your box full of coins. Anyway, we live on Earth, man. Eyes wide open. And you know another thing too, um, a lot of times I've learned in life not to tell people what my grand idea is. This is between me and Source. You know what I'm talking about. Give me, give me a card right here, huh? Give me a card right here. Goddess Guidance. Goddess Guidance. Kuan Yin came out. Wow, in your in your in your little lotus boat right there. And uh, she says release judgments about yourself and others. Focus on love, focus on light. Mike's talking about ratons. <laughs> hey come on, Source. Here we go, man. Oh yeah, you, you I want you I want you to um See, because I got Mary Magdalene again, right? Mary Magdalene and Kuan Yin. I love you. I love you. I love you. Maybe eyes wide open, right? Don't be sharing all your ideas with, you know, people. And maybe change, you know, a little bit. And this one says bold. <laughs> bold. Um, you know. It says unleash your adventurous side. Take risks and be daring. And, and a nice balance card came out, you know, with Mary Magdalene and Kuan Yin, and then the, and then the uh, the Freya, yeah, Freya. Wasn't she a Viking? Yeah, yeah. And then uh, there's a nice balance card right there with Mott. You know, I think it's about your energy, right? But. Um, Butterfly transformation, that's absolutely beautiful. You're experiencing enormous change right now, which bring great blessings. A gorgeous, gorgeous spread. May all your dreams come true, Empress Marlene. <laughs> yes. Yes, you know, we all know the story about Joseph and the coat of many colors. You know, he told his brothers his dreams. Shit, they threw him, they threw his ass down into the into the pit, and then they sold him into slavery. I mean, all his dreams came true. He became the second most powerful man in Egypt. Uh, but uh, the brothers did throw him in a pit and sold him into slavery. Anyway, wisdom, wisdom, right? Wisdom. <laughs> all right. Cat, cat, are you still in the house? Cat is number three, and then my Jillian is number four. Is cat still in the house? We're gonna do a movie spread for you, cat. <laughs> is that right, Keys? You got me laughing right here, man. Okay, Cat, let's see what the tarot has to say here, my friend. A major arcana pull. Let's play with the uh, Terra Luminati. Terra Luminati. For Cat. 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 Oh, the angel of the middle way just showed up around here. Thank you. Thank you, Empress. So very kind of you. The angel of the middle way showed up here, cat. Now, this is the art of allowance. That's how I read this anymore. It's an art form that all of us enlightened ones are learning anymore. To allow nothing but the best into our lives. Being nice and balanced, working with the divine. It is the angel of the middle way showing up, you know, the great alchemist, the blender, cat, cat. Or a chariot just showed up. 
big cancer card just showed up. That's uh, that's some kind of forward movement towards victory. Could be somebody you know coming charging down the road. Who's that? Who's that? Card number three. There's an emperor, darling. There's an emperor that showed up and just read after the chariot with the yin-yang ponies on it. And Michael. Oh. <laughs> Uh oh, <laughs> more please. Inquiring minds want to know more, Source. Tell us a little more, please. Thank you. Oh, my high priestess. I got an emperor looking at my high priestess, darling. My priestess of the moon, keeper of the mysteries of the collective unconscious. Oh, I got a chariot, an emperor, the high priestess. She'd be looking like Michael over here. She all tuned in, lit up, an earth angel. Uh, she's been in the still place for a minute, probably. Oh, there's a fool. There's a fool. <laughs> oh, the old love clip showed up. A fool, and uh, here is a wheel of fortune. I don't know, a wheel of destiny. Hmm. Maybe the wheel of the return. Hmm. Let's, uh, I, I think we're going to play with a couple of love cards here, huh, Cat? <laughs> yeah, I got um, the angel of the middle way. I got a chariot. I got somebody busting a move right here. It could be this emperor. And yeah, they want to come over here and play with my high priestess. And the wheel spins. The wheel spins. Could be a wheel of the return. Winner winning chicken dinner. It's an omen of good luck and good fortune. Huh? Oh, shit. I got a forgiving and learning card. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> oh, Lordy. I also got a chemistry card. Did you bring the star? Yes, I did, darling. Yes, I did. And I got a little bit of walking and a little bit of talking. Somebody's got a tux on and somebody has a, a gown on. Cat. I cut it, it says very soon. May our dreams come true, my friend. Love and light, cat. Love and light. All right, my Jillian. Let's have some fun. Jillian. Uh, you're my Aquarius friend, aren't you? Jillian. Thank you, Kat. May our dreams come true, my friend. Trust is earned and all that. Yeah, I'm with Jillian. Jillian's number four. Patricia is number five. Gypsy Bones is number six. Jillian. That's my Jillian. Anything in particular you're looking at, my friend? Let's go. Jillian, let's do a little dancing tonight, huh? A little dancing in the dark. See if we can cut a rug around here. Jillian, love team. Jillian. 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 What's dancing in the dark talking about Jillian style? Okay. <laughs> okay. We're going to be reading here for a minute tonight. Happy Friday, everybody. I'll get your names in a minute. Jillian. There's a devil right there that just showed up. Imagine that. 
Imagine that. That's a, you know, the major, oh, I can't get it too close. <laughs> it's a Capricorn energy. It's a devil. It's about breaking chains that bind. We go with that right off the bat. It's first card out. Can talk about um, completing a karmic cycle. Breaking chains that bind. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, strength. Oh, that's interesting, huh? That's a Capricorn and a Leo card. Strength. It's like, it's like, oh my God, you have bad breath too. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> strength. I like that after the devil right there. Oh, I see him right there. Anyway. Looks like the gods got that under control. Yeah, it's a karmic cycle that's coming to an end for you. So the new cycle can come in. This is absolutely gorgeous, my friend. You know those people with bad breath? <laughs> they gotta go, man. You need a damn Tic Tac, man. <laughs> Get the hell out of here, man. A wheel came out, darling, and the wheel spins around here. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yes, you completed a cycle. You absolutely completed a karmic cycle. Breaking chains. Yes, very, very powerful. The death card, death, birth, resurrection, major transformation for you. And bam, a new world shows up. Definitely completed a cycle here. Very challenging one. Very impressive, my friend. Yeah, 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 yeah. A little something about the new the new world. Well, the star came out. The star came out, my darling. You know, it's about better days. Definitely, huh? Justice, too. Look at these cards for you. I know you're looking for love. Oh, there's a lover there, too. Ooh. Yeah, man, there's a lover right here, too. <laughs> and there's a chariot. That's, that moves to victory, right? Ooh. Look at your cards, man. Justice, a new world, the star, the lovers. Holy. Break, you broke a cycle around here, man. And uh, cherry to the star. So go on. Go on with yourself right here. Could, could be this lover coming in here for you, too. It's absolutely gorgeous, to be honest with you. The devil, the strength card, the death card, the wheel of change. Ending a karmic cycle. That went straight to the world, which confirms that you've completed a karmic cycle as well. Justice says that the scales have fallen in your favor. Star energy talks about healing. Dreams coming true. It went to the lovers in a chariot after that, my friend. Ooh la la. Let's play a little tarot. A little tarot. Yes, you are the star, my friend. All right, got a completion of an old karmic cycle right here. Something about a lover. Oh, he slammed the door on it. That's seven of wands, my friend. He slammed the door on that old spooky castle over there. <laughs> hey, that's my hero's card. Somebody about decided to stand up, take a new path in life. They don't care who likes it or who don't like it. We're out of here, man. Oh, yeah, followed by eight cups, man. If you're not bringing the sweetness in, we ain't got no time for you. We got to go. Slamming the door. And she looks in a great anticipation of this wheel, the new world, the star, justice, the lovers, and the chariot. She's, she's looking at all this with great anticipation. You can see that picture, right? Well, she knows she did what's best for her. I love it. Let's go, Jillian. Jillian. <laughs> uh, 
I'm giggling, man. Queen of Swords, there she is right there. We ain't playing. Off of their blooming heads. <laughs> and the butterfly about the transformation from my Queen of Swords right there. Yeah, off of their blooming heads, man. We ain't got no time for none of these fools anymore. Ain't got no time for no devils. I told you you needed a Tic Tac. <laughs> yeah. Hey, a lover just showed up. A lover just showed up. And the Queen of Swords. It's lining up with these major arcanas right here. Yeah. Judgment, rebirth. For my Earth Angel. Judgment, another major arcana. Rebirth, oh, this is beautiful, man. It's absolutely beautiful. Star, uh, Justice, the Lover's Chariot. Ooh, that's a card about happiness and joy and bliss. Three Cups, ooh, celebrating life. Maybe with a new friend. Somebody's sweet on you in this story. They coming for you, my lovely. In a big way. Wow. Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> oh, this could be a day of celebration coming in here for you. Oh. Oh, anyway, I got six of wands, my friend. It's about victory after the battle. Confidence in yourself. Receiving the attention that you're worthy of. A couple of eagles flying around in the sky, and that's six of wands, my lovely. Well, um, let's see what Goddess Guidance has to say. Nice love story here. You definitely completed a cycle, my friends. Congratulations. Okay, all right, all right, those days are done, those days are done. Hey, this is my Art of Allowance card right here. You know, learning that art form of allowing nothing but the best into your life. Give me another one, give me another one for my Jillian. Ah, oh, this sacred space, I love all the angels. Oh, see? Uh, she's learning to allow nothing but the best into her life. No, there's the uh, there's the inner wisdom. There's the inner wisdom card, my friend. You know, high priestess energy. She knows, man. She's looking at all this happiness and bliss here. She says, "You know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom." Take appropriate action. Give me one more for Jillian, please. Oh, and, and white terror came out. Sensitivity. Uh, you're becoming increasingly sensitive. Avoid harsh uh, relationships. Avoid harsh environments. Avoid harsh situations. Oh, because you got a bright future coming in here. Absolutely gorgeous, my friend. Congratulations. May all your dreams come true, my Jillian. Okay. Patricia. Patricia, my birthday baby. Patricia is still in the house. Oh, we got a level three for you tonight, my birthday baby. All points bulletin for my Patricia. There you are, there you are. Um, anything particular you're looking at? Well, all those hearts right there, my Aries friend. All right, let me wet my whistle. Thank you, Jillian.
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. My Patricia. <clears throat> me, me, me. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, my Patricia. Happy birthday to you and many more. Happy birthday, my friend. Happy birthday. Let's have some fun tonight. Little tarot, little tarot, little tarot. I got elemental wisdom. It seems to be in my hand. I'm going to play with it. For Patricia, Patricia, Patricia. Darling, I see you back on your throne. Empress energy right here. Taurus, Libra, and I give this card to Aries myself. I give Aries to the first five cards of the majors because they're number one. And all these cards just have a singular individual in them. This is my Empress. Oh, she bursts a new world, huh? She's always very creative. It's love, it's abundance. My Empress, my Empress. Patricia. Wow. The angel of the middle way just showed up. Sagittarius cards, my earth angel. Venus incarnate on the earth, temperance, the art of allowance, allowing nothing but the best into your world. The great alchemist just showed up around here. Show some kind of butterflies, like a rebirth energy, and the stars in the future. Patricia, my Aries friend. A strength card came out. Hmm. Maybe, maybe because of these butterflies. It's, it's, I, you know, I saw a rebirth energy here for you. Strength uh, showed up. Strength of the gods on your journey. You're birthing something new around here. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, you may be birthing something new around here, my friend. Oh, who's that? Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, hi. Damn, looking like laundry day coming in around here. Ooh, my Aries friend. Wow. Well, 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 the, the, the emperor was right there by the strength card. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> There's a lot of passion right there. The love is looking like laundry day. What are we going to do? The clothes are on spin cycle. I don't know, Donnie. <laughs> we'll figure something out. Oh, well, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Okay. Um... Let's play with Gendron on this. Oh, is that right? Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Empress, she's seated on her throne. She is, she is. The angel of the middle way is right there. Strength. An emperor to the lovers, darling. Oh. We some on my empress, please. Some on my empress. Oh, you've been very patient with the situation. That is uh, four cups. Um, this is a card of reevaluation and patience, but it's followed by three cups, so it's, you know, a card of celebration. What? 
Um, possible reconciliation. Anyway, uh, we got a card of uh, sitting under the tree. And it went to a card of celebration right here. Temperance, please. Oh, it could be communication right here. It's a page of pentacles on temperance. Oh, that could be, you know, FaceTime meeting. Maybe a, maybe a coffee date. Maybe a little sushi. Mike's whipping up some kind of communication in the 3D around here. Strengths, please. Oh, who is this? <laughs> uh, it's five cops. But it's totally different five cops. It looks like this character right here has stood these, all these cops back up. Oh, look at him right here. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking about every word they're going to say. That's how I see page pens. And uh, Five of Cups is definitely different, huh? The old River of Tears. That's a five about change. Looks like somebody stood all the cups up. Looks like you may be happy about that. <laughs> all right, some of this old emperor over here to the lovers, please. Yeah, the old emperor looks like they stood all the cups up. Oh, Lord. I don't want to tell you about it. No. Oh, give me something on that emperor. Yeah, it's the emperor in the boat. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. the emperor in the boat. <laughs> oh, the emperor in the boat, man. Give me something on the lovers. Give me something on the lovers. Oh, <laughs> it's the Empress in the boat. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, look at them, man. Both of them crossing the old river in tears right here, maybe, huh? It's gorgeous, man. I mean, what's the odds of that, man? Really, really. I mean, really. <laughs> okay. Let's play with a couple of love cards. What do you say, huh, kid? My Patricia. My Patricia. Emperor and an Empress. Oh, it says give it a shot. Oh, wow. Let's put that over there by three cups. I would give it a shot. Oh, here's the walking and the talking. Oh, the old walking and the talking in the woods. <laughs> With a tuxedo <laughs> and a gown. I don't know. <laughs> Over here looking like laundry day. Oh, we, that's a forgiving and a learning. <laughs> okay. A forgiving and a learning around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me one more. It says you've been busy loving on yourself. You know, which leads to kissy face. Looks like maybe both of these two have been loving on themselves. Because I got somebody over here stood all these cups up. Yeah, looks like both. Forgiving and a learning. Give me a goddess guidance on this. My birthday girl, Patricia. Wow, you guys pulled infinite supply. Wow. <laughs> and they put an empress in the boat, man, crossing the river of tears. And you two pulled infinite supply. That's a great card, man. May all your dreams come true, my friend. Love and light, Patricia. Okay, Gypsy Bones is number six. Oh, I need to go over there and put some names on my list.
Uh, but Gypsy Bones is number six. Gypsy, you're up next. And Michelle Sky is number seven. Let me take a look at my list right here. Oh, that's my Gina. Hi, Gina. Nice to see you tonight, my friend. You're number nine. Whatever source wants you to know. Oh, there's Danny. Hi, Danny. Thank you, my friend. Uh, Danny, you are number 10 tonight. And you grabbed a level three. Thank you, Danny. Be with you in a little bit. Oh, there's Nikki. Hi, Nikki. I got you, Nikki. You're number 11 tonight. Thank you, my friends. Hi, Gypsy. Let's play some tarot. Let's play some tarot, my Aquarius friend, level two, and then Michelle Sky. Gypsy's number six, and Michelle's number seven. Anything in particular, Gypsy? <laughs> I see your little, I see your little love logo right there, my Aquarius friend. All right, Aquarius. I grab the star man here, Gypsy. Let's see what the star man has to say, my friend. Gypsy. Nothing in particular. <laughs> okay. 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 Gypsy. 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 What do we got? What's this? Oh, well, Michael showed up. Uh-huh. Temperance showed up. Looks like he's got a couple of friends in his hand right there. <laughs> Just saying. Got some angels flying around. Oh, Temperance, the angel of the middle way showed up around here, Gypsy. Yeah. <laughs> this is an Aquarius card right here. I call him my hot shot. <laughs> oh, oh, I wonder who that is around there. I call him the sacred clown. That's my hot shot right there. It's an Aquarius card. It's about a fresh start and a new beginning. So it's about a leap of faith. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, oh, who is this, man? Nothing in particular, oh lordy. That's the old Pope on the rope right there. Oh, the hair band. The hair band for my Empress, oh lordy. Oh, there's my Empress seated on this rope. Hey, I got a, I got, it looks like, a, looks like a hot shot's coming in with hair band energy, my friend. 
Oh, <laughs> for I don't blame him. <laughs> I don't blame him. That's the Empress right there. Well, let's get one more on this, huh? Yeah, that's about a fresh start, new beginning. Uh, let me see, that's Taurus Libra. That's Taurus, that's Aquarius Aries, that's Sagittarius. Well, 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 well. <laughs> Nothing in particular. Nothing in particular. That's a nice justice card on that. That's a beautiful balancing energy right there. That's balancing the 5D. And it comes over here to the earthly plane. See, the fool comes from the heavenlies into the earthly plane. To a hierophant energy. To an empress. And then the and then the, the balance in the 3D right here. Maybe for you. Maybe for you, my Aquarius friend, you know, because it says don't be all up in your head, and don't be all up in your heart, you know, be nice and balanced. Because uh, you got an energy, you got somebody coming in here for you. I call him the hot shot, man, in this deck, man. The firecracker coming for you. Oh, Lordy. But they come in with Hierophant energy because you're the Empress. We got justice here in the 3D. Let's see what Jen Drone has to say, huh? Gypsy. Gypsy. Temperance. The fool, the hair fan, the empress, justice. There's a king that just showed up here, my friend. You know, king of cups. Your King of Cups showed up here on, on old Michael. Wow, he be he be looking at all this story right here. Darling, a king just showed up. Give me some on the on the fool card right here. Gypsy. That is a communication card. That is the Page of Pentacles. See, I got the fool jumping in here. Uh, that's uh, 3D communication, telephone calls, FaceTime, maybe a coffee date, maybe sushi. Look at this king looking at my little page right there. Ooh la la. Hairfant. Hairfant. Oh, is that right? I see it. I see it, Gypsy. Oh, look who's on the hair fan, darling. You can't make this up. I'm shuffling them right in front of you. It's a two of copper right there. A little walking, a little talking, a little soulmate in you. <laughs> oh, wow. Look what came out of the Empress. The Queen of Love. Darling, I have... <laughs> I have, I have uh, the King of Love and I have the Queen of Love. I got, I got an offer from a hot shot right here. Two of Cups on top of a hair fan. Wow. I kind of like this hot shot. Yeah. Injustice. Oh. Oh, look. Look, I love this deck. It's nine cups. That's an offer. Um, nine and the one she has. Oh, that, that counts to ten. Um, justice right there, my friend. Lots of cups. Lots of cups, Gypsy. And a hair pad to boot. Wow. Give me a love card for my Gypsy, please. <laughs> the flirty flirt card came out. Ooh la la. <laughs> Ooh la la. The flirty flirt showed up. Ooh. Nine cups. Page of cups. 
It does say keep an open mind. Your soulmate may be different than your usual type. I got some walking and some talking, though. A lot of walking and a lot of talking showing up. All my friends. They seem to be in hair fant garb. Yes, they do. Tipsy. Nice spread, my friend. May all your dreams come true, my lovely. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. That was just a boatload of cups and maybe a sushi date right there. Yeah. I like sushi. Anybody, anybody else like sushi? I like sushi. <laughs> yeah. All right, return to sender. Hello, my friend. Hello, return to sender. Thank you, level two. And spot number 12 tonight. Okay, um, Michelle Sky is number seven. And Sherry Snyder is number eight. So, uh, Michelle, if you're in the house, we're going to do a level three for you tonight. Anything in particular you want to look at? All right, Michelle. Look at my tarot Illuminati again. Michelle, Michelle Sky. Level three for Michelle, please. There you are, there you are, my friend, hello. Anything in particular you want to take a look at, Michelle? What are you thinking about? Michelle. First card out, the devil. Damn it. Now, this is, uh, this is, uh, something good. Okay. It's the devil. It's the first card out in a major arcana pull. So this is my card about breaking karmic cycles. Could be people, places, things, could be all of the above. And she's waking up to the fact that she's been changed to a situation that ain't for her benefit. I call that card breaking chains that bind for many years. Michelle, congratulations, and a new world came out, yes, yes, an old cycle ending and a new cycle beginning, happy days, happy days, and there's a fool, there's a fool, about a fresh start in life, a new beginning, let's leave the fool in there for right now, Michelle. Ooh, back on your throne, darling. Venus just showed up. Ooh la la, man. She's burst a new world, man. She's full of creativity. That's love. That's abundance. There's a star that puts out hellfire. Let's see what comes out on the board. Michelle. Rebirth. Phoenix from its ashes to the sun. A rebirth for you. Phoenix from its ashes to the sun. And there's that star again. About hope and faith and dreams coming true. Ooh. 
What a nice major arcana spread. Phoenix from its ashes, new world, breaking chains that bind, on your throne again to the sun. Okay. Well, let's play with Gendron, huh, Michelle? Let's see what the sun's about right here. Give me some. Give me some for Michelle. That old devil over there. Breaking chains that bind. Um, uh, Ten of Pentacles came out on that. Uh, it's, uh, it's breaking chains that bind to the new world. Ten pins came out. I could be about the little white picket fence and the big pink house. It's about a new energy, if you ask me. That's an ace of wands. That's about new, passionate. Ten pins, man. There's the empress right there. <laughs> high priestess came out on her. An amazing looking high priestess. Because she's been down in Hades for a minute. High Priestess energy, Priestess of the Moon, Keeper of the Mysteries of the Collective Unconscious. Hey, this looks like a new beginning. There is some kind of new beginning around here. With somebody. Three Pentacles is a card of collaboration, building a firm foundation, Somebody that's important to you. See, it feels so new to me. Because that's the fool right there. And that's the fool. Divine feminine energy. Ace of Wands. Ten of Pins. New World. Ooh. Wow, Ten Cops. Ten Cups, Ten Cups on the Rebirth to the Sun, whatever this is, you pull Ten Pins on it, you pull Ten Cups on it, you pull Collaboration, you pull the High Priestess coming out of uh, Hades, a lot of passion right there too, wow. <laughs> And it's a love offer. It's a love offer for you right here on the sun. And that all looks really, really positive to me, Michelle. Let's throw a couple of love cards. Because it might be, you know, off of their blooming head over here. Because you, there's my high priestess again. I don't know how to read this two swords in the other way. So, off of their blooming head. Off of <laughs> You know, on that devil right there. Wow, queen of pins, queen of the world. She, she ends up in a long-term committed relationship. Wow. Well, 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 my friend. You got a beautiful love story unfolding right here. Dancing in the sun. Looks new to me. Looks new to me. But you know what you're believing for around here. Two swords on the devil. Oh, soulmate. Ooh, look at that, man. Soulmate came out. That's nice. Uh, that's nice. Beautiful soulmate energy showed up here for you with ten pins and ten cups. Feels so new to me, man. There's a flirt card. And yeah, and to keep an open mind because your soulmate may be different than your usual type. Little walking, little talking, in Hierophant. In Hierophant clothing. Feels new to me, my friend. Happy sunny days. Happy sunny days. Hi, priestess. Rocking Empress energy in this story. Here we go. Be strong, okay. 
He's strong. Got a devil off of their blooming head. <laughs> oh, cycles and rhythms. This feels new, man. Cycles and rhythms. Oh, don't back down. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> oh, Lordy. I see something pretty sweet on here, my friend. Oh, there may be a changing in the guards. You do what's best for you. Wow, peace came out. There's no need to worry for everything is working out beautifully. I think your cards are beautiful, my friend. May all your dreams come true. Michelle. Okay, all right, my lovely. All right, you know, that's a nice thing about a read like this. You can come back and look at it yourself. Um, save it. I always tell my people, save your reads. And uh, hell, man, when you're looking at it at home, you know, you can get your own tarot deck out and play along with me. I liked it. It looks beautiful, my friend. Now, it's like, what are you believing for? Really, is what it is in there. I could have read it either way. These are major arcanas, and there could have been reconciliation in there as well. But I saw a happy ending to this story, my friend. So may all your dreams come true, Michelle. Um, my Sherry Snyder. Sherry's number eight. And then Gina. Thank you, Michelle. I saw a happy ending there. Uh, ten cups, ten pins, man. Powerful cards in the tarot. All right, my Gina. Grabbed another reading with me. Gina says, uh, what's Source got to say, Mike? Oh, this is my only an acre. Hi, only. Tell me what a beautiful life I'm creating with Source. I love that. That's gorgeous, my friend. Is my Gina. Oh. Okay. Let's play with a love deck. Haven't played with a Victorian Romantic yet tonight, my Gina. My Gina. My Gina. My Gina, we're looking for a little reconciliation energy in these cards right here. I believe that we can have whatever we want. Because I believe that we're multidimensional beings and that we live in a multiverse of lots of Earths. That's what I believe. 
and that we end up on the earth that we vibrate with. And, um, well, we meet up with those people that would vibrate with us on that new earth. Hell, I believe we make a new earth every day. But that's what I believe. That's why I read my cards very positive, because I want you all going to your new earth every day. Let's see what's going on around here. Gina. 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 What's the tarot got to say? That is an emperor right there. And they are looking at a magician. You know, that as above, so below energy. You know, what I was just talking about. As within, so without. Mm-hmm. An emperor just showed up around here. Looking at a magician. You know, the magician's all about pure positive thoughts and pure positive words and inspired action. Give me one. Oh, wow, Father Time just showed up. That's the Hermit card. May have been quiet for a minute. But I like old Father Time. These pictures right here. Now, old school, right? Uh, the hermit nowadays has a lantern, but these old school ones, they have the hourglass. I see old Father Time. They seem to have their their eye on an emperor. Right? <laughs> yeah. And the emperor is staring at the magician. Oh, okay. Oh, Father Time, maybe about to ring the bell. Let's see what's going on around here. Oh. Yeah, he goes right there. And then the lovers came. <laughs> oh, looks like the bell may be about to be rung around here. Yeah, oh, Father Time. He be staring at the lovers. The magician staring at... Uh, excuse me, the emperor is staring at the magician. <laughs> I got my high priestess over here. She'd be like, when, Lord, when? When? Beautiful divine feminine energy right here. My high priestess, my keeper. Keeper of the mysteries of the collective unconscious. Get your rest. Get your sleep. Because it looks like the sun is about to shine here. That's the sun card. This is the sun. That's divine masculine energy. This is the moon. That's divine feminine energy. My high priestess, she knows. She knows, okay? She's not wondering. She knows what's coming for her. She's in, she's in the knowing. She's not in the hoping. No, she's in the knowing. An emperor looking at a magician. Father Time looking at the lovers. The moon card, divine feminine energy. The sun card, divine masculine energy. Could be the summertime. You know what I'm talking about. Um, and my, my beautiful high priestess who's in the knowing. Gorgeous, my friend. Let's wave it a little more. Let's wave it a little more right here. Gina, someone is emperor, please. Wow, three pins came out. It's a great card of collaboration. And building a firm foundation with somebody that's important to them. Hmm. Some on Father Time, please. Oh, 
It's that vibe of change. And it's a story about somebody stacking all the cups back up. Oh, look at Father Time right there. He got somebody stacking cups back up these days. Some of my lovers, please. She knows. That's two cups. Soulmates. Look what came out of my Divine Feminine right here. The World card. My Earth Angel right there. That's about an old cycle ending and a new cycle beginning, so... Do your best not to get into that old stinking thinking, right? Come back and look at your read. I really believe that we create our own reality. Look what came out on the High Priestess. Eight wands. The telephone is ringing. Yeah. You got me on the run. I'm driving in my car now. Anticipate and fun. Some on that sun card, please. Divine masculine energy. With a gorgeous goddess on her white stallion. Oh. That's ten pins, darling. There's a little passion right there. There's a little birdie telling you a story today. Go on to your new world. Go on to your world where this plays out. Give me a love card, please. Give me a love card, please. Past life lovers. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations, romantic feelings. All my love. May all your dreams come true, my Gina. Love and light, my friend. Love and light. And this, this brings me to uh, Danny. Danny's number 10. Danny, if you're in the house, you are up. I got a level three here for you tonight. And Nikki is number 11. So Danny is 10. And Nikki is 11. It is a beautiful spread right there, my friend. I just, you know, a tarot reader, um, we don't really tell the future. We pick up on your vibration. We pick up on your vibration that you put out to the 5D. And it can show you the vibration that's coming back to play in the 3D. That's how tarot really works, in my opinion. All right, Danny, seventy three ninety nine. Hello, Jorge. Gonna play some cards tonight, my friend. Thank you. We'll level two with you, you're number 14 tonight. That's my Danny. Hey, Danny. What you thinking about, my friend? We got a level three for, for you tonight.
<laughs> oh, Jorge broke the ice. Nice, my friend. Nice, my friend. Looking forward to pulling cards with you here in a little bit. Danny's number 10. Nikki is number 11. Suppose some cards are Danny tonight. I haven't played with the new Paladini yet, I don't believe. All right, you got it, man. Appreciate you very, very much. All right, my Danny. My Danny. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune jumped out. Danny, that is an omen of good luck and good fortune in a major arcana poll. It is my, uh, yes, it's you, man. <laughs> yes, this is your read. Yes, this is your wheel. Your wheel of change for the better. To say the very least, could be completing a karmic cycle. I don't know, it could be the wheel of the return. I don't know if it's a wheel of return. Uh-uh. That was what I'm seeing right here, Danny. I'm seeing a karmic cycle has come to an end, a completion. I saw the death card and I saw the devil. Hip, hip, hooray. Let's go. Let's go. Danny, Danny, pull the wheel. First card out right here. And a full card. Uh-huh. About a fresh start and a new beginning. Starts the, uh, the, starts the fool's journey right here. Completed a karmic cycle. And the fool shows up. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay, curious, huh? Oh my god. Um, temperance just showed up around here. Look at the fool. <laughs> oh, the fool meeting up with the angel of the middle way. Oh, Lord, eh? Uh, this is my card about the art of allowance, learning to allow nothing but the best into your life. Very positive. Angel of the middle way with the wheel spinning around here. Oh, an high priestess came out. Um, Danny, I don't know if you consider yourself divine masculine or divine feminine. Uh, this high priestess looks like they're in a chariot because there's a cloud outside the window. This high priestess isn't down in Hades anymore. I got a fool facing temperance. I got a high priestess facing temperance. Very nice. Very nice. Danny, and justice came out. This is like the gods looking down from the heavens. The gods looking down from the heavens. This is justice. This is, uh, I don't know if things have been out of alignment in your life, man. This is about karmic balance coming into your world in the 3D. Um, there's an emperor right here. There's an emperor. And a high priestess. They are both looking at temperance. Justice. A fool. A fresh start. A new beginning. I like, personally, uh, you know, that could be new right there. Because hmm? the wheel spins. Says you completed a karmic cycle. Justice coming in on temperance. So this is balance in the 5D. And this is balance on the earthly plane here. And I got an emperor, and he's looking at a high priestess. And the high priestess is looking at temperance. On a new fool's journey right here. Looks very nice to me. Let's go, Danny. Danny, someone is 
wheel, the wheel of change for the better. Well, the dance of change came out on that. Two pins. Change for the better. Oh, look, the look what came out on the fool. The love pony. The love pony came out on the fool. Ooh, temperance, justice. This is nice right here. An emperor and a high priestess. All looking at uh, justice and they're looking at temperance. And there is a love pony that showed up for the fool. Looking like love to me. Let's see what's going on. Oh, passionate communication. Communication that makes you feel good. I like all this, man. I like all this. Oh, look what came out. Oh, Lordy. What came out on the High Priestess and this Emperor is a Hierophant. Oh, oh, Lordy. Oh, that's the High Priest and the High Priestess. This is passionate communication. Sweet, sweet, sweet communication right there. And justice overall. Justice overall on this story. Well, my beautiful earth angel again, temperance. The angel of the middle way. Um, this looks like something that the source is mixing up here for you. Got some healing right here I'm looking at. A dance of change. I saw some healing cards right there. Let's uh, throw you a couple of love cards on this. Because this is special right here, man. Mm -hmm. Wow, a safe place to love came out. Told you this is special right here. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. You got some healing over here that I'm looking at. And Temperance has showed up twice. So this could still be in the heavenlies. But the stability of the Emperor is absolutely beautiful at the end of the story. Danny. Damn. Is this a story about love and money? Is that what the emperor is about? <laughs> the golden opportunities, huh? Golden opportunities. I like this for you, man. Important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. Walk through them. And uh, Kali's here. Kali's here, man, to hear you, help you clear any old karmic cycles that need to they need to come to an end. It says, the old must be released so that the new can enter. All my love, Danny. Now our dreams come true. All right. I got a couple more friends that showed up around here, huh? Let me get over there and take a look at them. Nine-tailed fox. Oh. Thank you, nine-tailed fox. And thanks for smashing that join button, too, my friend. Okay. Love your name.
for you and Corin meant to be together. Are you twins? Nine tail fox, thank you, my friend. You did a nice read here, level three. And you are 15. And we are on number 11 right now with my Nikki. Nikki, you still in the house? We got a level two here for you tonight. Oh, there you are. Okay. Okay, Nikki, my Aquarius friend. Thinking about a Gemini. All right, let's take a look. Thank you, Nikki. I'm gonna grab uh, Chai Illuminati, my Aquarius friend. Nikki love team, my Aquarius friend. Let's know a little something, something about Gemini. Will they show back up? Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. A world card came out. Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo are all on this card right here. And um, I can talk about an old cycle ending so a new world can show up around here. Shows you back on your throne, Empress Energy. Venus, love and abundance. This is Taurus, Libra. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. Shows you on your new world right there. Both of these are new world energies for me. Those are new world energies because the Empress is always birthing a new world. She's always birthing something. Something creative. Something beautiful. That's the Aquarius star card. Again, this is an energy for me about a new world right here. Uh, the beautiful waters, they put out hellfire. Dreams. These are all cards about moving in a new direction in life. None of these cards talk about going backwards. <laughs> I mean, I cut to it right there, and there was another chariot. Let's see what comes out on the board for my Nikki. Temperance. Oh, <laughs> oh the angel of the middle way. This is my uh, art. This is my art form. It's the art of allowance. It's an art form about, you know, allowing nothing but the best into your life, Nikki. This temperance on the other side of my star baby right there mixing some cups. There's that chariot again about moving forward, leaving the old behind. I got a new energy here for you. Now the sun came out. Damn, that's what we want. You know, the art form of allowing nothing but the best in our life. Damn, let's get the sun shining around here. The sun. There's a rebirth energy here for you. 
as a lover. <laughs> as a lover right here. This is Phoenix from its ashes. This is all about new. And then I have some very interesting cards and major arcanas. Justice in the middle of breaking chains that bind and as a lover right here. And, and it's a fresh start and a new beginning. Again, these all talk about new. And they talk with me about breaking chains that bind and going forward to the, to the where the sun shines in our life. So, let's see what Gendron has to say right here, my Aquarius friend. I see you going to the land where the sun shines, severing ties, breaking chains that bind. <laughs> I pulled an ace of swords right there. I could say true that. Um, an ace of swords, and, and again, I mean, there's there's a little booky baby right there um, that talks about new in the tarot, the empress right there, she, and that's a sharp sword, it, it cuts things out, man. So I'm seeing, I'm seeing new here, my friend. With some of my beautiful, beautiful empress sitting by a star. The lovers came out. The lovers came out. You may hear from me, Gemini, again. You may. You may. Choose wisely, my friend. You may hear from them. I got a magician on the star. This is my deliberate creator. This is a number one card. For me, that's all new beginnings can be with that card right there. You may hear from your Gemini right here, Ace of Swords to the Gemini card, you know, because they don't want their Empress to go anywhere. You know, they want you to continue to go through that loop. Right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There's a King of Swords right there. You could hear from them. Wouldn't surprise me. Retrograde energy. Give me some on temperance right here. This is a single card. I'm telling you, man, this is nine pins. And she's looking at the sun. You may hear from your Gemini. There may be a choice. Ten wands, and I say you may hear from your Gemini. See this farmer right here? They're pulling that ace of wands up out of the ground. They're pulling that ace of wands up out of the ground, kid. Oh, this is seven of wands. This is about shutting the door. Shutting the door. Freaking devil again. I think you're going to have a choice, my Aquarius friend. Choose wisely. Choose the sun, whatever that is. I do see, I do see uh, somebody that's, you know, baby, please don't go down to New Orleans. I'll be quiet, man. Give me a card here. What's the sun about? It's about a new offer. The golden coin. Look at the difference in these two cards right here, man. Look at the difference in these two cards. This one looks gorgeous. This one looks like, you know, <laughs> I don't know, man. That Ace of Swords is kind of freaky geeky in this deck, man. But I love that. I love that golden coin right there. Wow, it's got a... It's got a Queen of Pins rocking with it too, man. Now, 
that's committed relationship material right there, man. <laughs> Ten cups. Ten cups. We got nine of pins looking at an ace of pins. That makes ten. I got a queen of pentacles. That's a committed relationship card for me. And I got ten cups about the happy ever after, so. Choose wisely. Yeah, there's a new love offer coming in here for you. A new love offer. Two of them. Two of them. This could be an apology. And this could be a new copy date. <laughs> Look at all these pins over here, man. A lot of earth over here, and there's some cups as well. Yeah. Choose wisely, my Aquarius friend. Thank you, Nikki. Look forward to getting to know you better, my friend. A love card, please. Separation. Red flags. Staying optimistic. To chemistry. Oh. <laughs> Pretty much said what the tarot said right there, my friend. Choose wisely. Looks like something pretty, pretty sweet coming in here for you. You know the world where the sun shines, darling. You deserve nothing but the best, so. All my love, all my love, Nikki. And thanks for, thanks for uh, smashing that button today. Looking forward to getting to know you better. Okay. Um, return to sender is up, number 12. Okay. I see you, Jorge. I'll take a look. I'll take a look at that all in a minute, my friend. Um, just a couple, just a couple away. We got uh, return to sender up right now, number twelve, followed by only an acre, and then and then and then you, Jorge. Okay. Return to sender. There you are right there, my friend. Asking about a Pisces. No contact from a Pisces. Yeah. Um, that was in uh, some of Aquarius's spread because... Um, there was a lot of Aquariuses. I mean, I picked up on it in my tarot, uh, with the Pisces for a while. Um, and it was a nice story, but then it just fucking vaporized out of my spreads. Hmm. Hi, Andrea. Let me see what's going on around here. Aquarius and Pisces. Thank you, Andrea. Pull you some cards here tonight. Thank you for five months, my friend. Love, you got it. You got it, my friend. Number 16 tonight. All right, let's take a look right here. Return to sender, my Aquarius friend. Mm, thinking about a Pisces. Well, I'm rooting for you, I am. Um, it's 
kind of fun when I see uh, somebody that I saw it in my cards, man. I saw it in my cards for a while. Um, may have been up to two months ago. Anyway, let's play some tarot. Return to Senda. Yes, my Aquarius friend. Coming up and coming out, though. Okay, let's see what the tarot has to say. I'm going to play with Dancing in the Dark. Let's go. Return to Senda. We're looking for a love story from my Aquarius friend. Return to Senda. What do we got, love team? Let's do a little dancing. Let's do a little dancing around here. Strength came out. Strength from the gods. It's the taming of the beast, the taming of the loins. You know, maybe somebody needs a tic tac. You know, it's like, oh, Lordy. <laughs> oh. There's your Pisces card. Hangman. Now this can be about you thinking differently and feeling differently these days. Although, strength, cause, cause things probably got freaking quiet. Let's see what comes out. Hmm. I pulled a wheel. Things that make me go, hmm. That could be the wheel of the return. Could be. Because that hangman's about people thinking differently and feeling differently, believing differently these days. Hangman is looking at the wheel, my friend. There's another freaking... Pisces card, Divine Feminine, the Moon card, freaking Smoky Trail, damn. Get your rest and get your sleep. Your Pisces may be thinking about you these days. I mean, who's thinking about who, right? Are you thinking about them? Or are they thinking about you? Or are you both thinking about each other? That could very much be on this spread right here. My Aquarius friend. Yeah, well, don't take that. Oh, you've been really sad lately. Oh, shit. You know, you could be picking up this Pisces energy right here. The, the one that may have found themselves in the hangman street, Dark Night of the Soul. Hmm. Yeah, um, you know, return to sender. No, you're either going to come out of the hangman's tree or you're not. I'm not going to carry that because Divine Feminine will carry that energy. They will. They will. That's a hell no. We don't carry that energy. No, we got enough of our own life to deal with. Hmm. Things that make me go, hmm. A chariot just showed up. That's some kind of movement right there, ain't it? That is some kind of movement right there. There's an emperor right there. There's an emperor in a chariot. 
They seem to be heading towards my divine feminine. But they need to make up their mind. That's the wheel of the return, and it's an omen of good luck and good fortune on your spread. It's a, it's a, it's a wheel of change. And I got a chariot and an emperor that came out, my friend. But uh, we don't carry their heavy. We don't carry. We don't carry that for them. No, we don't, divine feminine. We send that back. We get out in the sun. We enjoy our life, and we go on with ourselves. They need to do that inner work on themselves. That's what it's saying to me. I do have uh, cards right here. Okay. All right. All right. I do got cards right here that say that this emperor could be getting in the chariot. It could be. Let's see what Gendron has to say. Give me some on strength, please. Oh, wow. It's my earth angel. That is a world card about an old cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. Oh, look at this Pisces here. Oh, two of copper came out on that hangman. Two, oh, and the five of cups, the river of tears. You know, the one where they stand all the cups back up. Oh, 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 oh. Three of pins came out on the world. Excuse me, the wheel. It's a card of collaboration. There's my queen of love right there on the moon. I want you rocking yourself. I want you loving yourself right now. I don't want you carrying your heavy energy. It looks like they could come out of the hangman's tree. But they need to do that work on themselves. And my divine feminine energetically will be like, oh, we'll carry all that. Hell no, we don't carry all that. That's up to them to do that right there. I do see potential. Um, you know, but it really depends upon you, my empath. You're the empath here. You're the empath. Give me some on this chariot and the emperor, please. Four of Swords is um, a card of healing. And um, there's somebody over there, and there's somebody right here in this source. That is a card of um, quiet time, healing the heart, healing. See, this Pisces right here, this, this Emperor, well, uh, they probably never met an Earth Angel before. Just saying, man. Just saying. I do see cards. I do see cards of, uh, I mean, <laughs> reconciliation. Once they grow up and actually be that emperor, yeah. Passionate communication that makes you feel good. I see it here. Well, that makes me feel better. I wonder, <laughs> am I, as a tarot reader, because I wondered what happened with that sweet energy that showed up for Aquarius for a while. Well, they need to come out of the hangman street. Don't you be carrying that energy for them no more. Looks like they're going to do it. Looks like they're going to do it. They're going to get down in there and cut all those core beliefs out of their life and all that, all that work, you know. Well, there's a faith card. And uh, make the effort. Damn, that's just what my spread was all about. See the little boy kissing the little sugar baby on the face? And it says, great loves were taking the steps you're guided to take. Oh, there's a divine timing. Yeah. You know, it's about a safe place to love. I see a yes here, my friend, but don't you be carrying their, 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 their don't you be carrying their load, man, okay? Yeah, yeah, you just tell them straight up. You know, if you're having an amazing day, and then all of a sudden, what the hell is that? No, not to me, not today. Return to sender. You know, you just go and do your do your do your work, because I'm out of here enjoying my life right now. Anyway, I think that's what I'm looking at right here, my friend. 
Just send it on back, send it on back. Huh? So they can come out of their hangman's tree. Oh my love. I mean, I saw a yes here. I saw a yes. Oh my love, oh my love, return. Hey, all your dreams come true, my friend. All right. See what's going on over here. <laughs> oh. Okay, 17 is my Jessica. Okay, Jessica. We're going to look at Roberto. And 18 is my Don. Hi, Don. Thank you, Don, for 13 months. Level two for you. And uh, Jessica, thank you, my friend. I level two with you, Jessica. Okay. Only two spots left. Only an acre, only an acre. I love you, I love you right here. Only an acre, tell me the beautiful life I'm building with source. Absolutely gorgeous, my friend. Let's play some tarot, then Jorge is up. Nine-tailed fox. Only an acre, love that right there. Tell me the beautiful life I'm building with the divine. Let's do it. Sway with the star, man. Only an acre. Tell me the beautiful life I'm building with the divine. Here we go. Here we go. Only an acre. Only an acre. Hour. That's about some sudden change. It's definitely about source getting involved in your life. They can help you clear out of things that, you know, are no longer serving you for your highest good. I mean, when you surrender your life to the divine, there, there's going to be some change. <laughs> They're going to be like, that needs to go. That needs to go. <laughs> that needs to go. Here, here we go. There you go. <laughs> tower. Tower change. That seems to be okay. There's a hermit card. There's a hermit card with sticks in their heart. Out, out, out. It's uh, spending time with the divine. Willing surrender to the divine that could be clearing a bunch of stuff that, you know, or tower stuff, man. Oh, they're teaching you. They're teaching you how to be the magician. 
This is my delivered creator. Well, anything, anything that they're removing from your life right now seems to be to your benefit. I mean, look at, look at the ground you're walking on right there. Oh, birth in a whole new world right here. It's the number one card. Well, yeah, they're turning you into the deliberate creator. As above, so below. As, with, as within, so without. Positive thoughts, positive words, inspired action. Wow, to the, to the beautiful empress right there. Seated on your throne, love and abundance. Oh, anything that they're removing, you know. I mean, if you want to live for source, it should only be one answer when they, when they speak to you. And that answer should be, yes, sir. Got it. <laughs> Yes, turn left. I always turn right, but yes, sir, turning left. You know. Anyway, this is a beautiful, beautiful spending time with source, clearing energy, turn you into the magician who's manifesting love and abundance right here. And uh, this is uh, the judgment card. Uh, which is a card of, it's really a card of the enlightenment, the great awakening, the understanding of the laws of the universe, now to use them effectively here in the 3D. Pretty impressive, my friend. There you are right there. I got to YouTube it, but there you are right there. You look amazing. Look at this powerhouse right here. Star, man. Wow. This can be challenging. You know, what do you mean you want that? For sure. <laughs> what do you mean you want that? For sure. <laughs> the magician to the empress to uh, the judgment card. And a beautiful, beautiful, very powerful earth angel right here, to say the least. And there's a couple of cups down there, too. Shows up on the TV, anyway. So, change for the better. And they're turning you into a, uh, well, the empress, and very powerful on top of that. Great epiphanies, enlightenment, great understandings, magician, my, my great manifester. So, let's play with a couple more cards right here. Let's play with the Gilded. Let's play with the Gilded. Only an acre. Only an acre. Give me some on the tower to the Hermit. Wow, change. Ten cups. You know, that could be a... Yeah, I mean, that's a happy ever after card right there. It does end up over here with the Empress and the Star. Phoenix from its ashes. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, my God. Look at money came, too. Money came, too. Eight pins. Ten cups. Yes, sir. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, magician, my, my empress. See? This could be leaving a bunch of stuff behind. It's no longer fulfilling. You know, I'm they're heading up to the mountaintop right there. Spend some time with Source. Leaving things behind that no longer work. Leaving things behind that could get in the way of ten cups and eight pens. Empress and an emperor came out on on the Empress. Hey, this is a nice promise right here, man. 
Because there's a price to pay. There's a price to pay to become this kind of an individual. There's a price to pay. <laughs> Looks like you're willing to pay it. Look <laughs> what came out next. I'm having fun with this friend. Justice! Ooh, that's uncommon favor with the gods, if you ask me. Justice on judgment. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's a big, huge golden coin right there, my friend. I, I, had, I had fun with your spread. I, give me that goddess guidance on here. Um, oh, they got a plan for you. Woo! Yeah, they got a plan for you. <laughs> Ten cups, eight pins. Don't you may have to go to the mountaintop. And then uh, the emperor on the empress. Justice on judgment. A very powerful earth angel with that star card. And a big golden coin. Big golden coin. Give me one. Give me one. Only an acre. Oh, wow. Collie showed up. Oh, they're, they're cleaning house for you, man. Uh, that says the old must be released so that the new can enter. A very, very bright future, my friend. Go on with yourself. Go on with yourself. This is a happy home. Vista. Go on with yourself. All my love. All my love. Only an acre. I love that, man. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. All right. Jorge. Let's pull you some cards, my friend. Let me take a look over here at some of your notes that you left me. through the divorce all my love my friend all my love looks challenging um, the X is an Aries you are a Libra oh that's been in Libra spread a breakup a breakup it's definitely been in Libra spread for a while Jiminy Crickets, man. Libra's cards are getting better these days. They're definitely getting better these days. Who's that? Is that Kim? Okay, hi, Kim. I'm going to put up my uh, closed readings right here. Thank you, everybody. I'm gonna close them out with 19. I give somebody space because somebody may say hi to me. New career, Kim. New career in love. Okay, Kim. Level two, thank you, my friend. Okay.
Okay, my friend. All right, well. Jorge, um, first thing I want you to know is to listen to your gut. Listen to your gut. Um, and if your gut's telling you that somebody's, you know, got something going on, chances are pretty good they are. I mean, uh, follow your, follow your source working with you, you know, it's somebody that uh, I wanted to divorce from and they were giving me a hard time about it. And if I asked them if there's a third party and they say, oh no. celibate follow your gut follow your inner knowing and that's the first thing I want to say to you Jorge now let's pull some cards on it because um, it probably needs to be some finality around here uh, my Libra readings have been dealing with this for a while so that's what I'm looking for is finality in this, uh, in this situation. Get papers signed, whatever needs to be done. Get your freedom back in your life, right? All right. Let's play with elemental wisdom. Jorge. Jorge, we'd like a little clarity right here, a little finality, a little finality, Jorge. There you are, there you are, seated in your throne. Jorge, seated in his power. You look good. You look upright. I like this emperor. Some emperors I don't care for. In this deck, I like that emperor. He's upright. He's upstanding. There's a freaking devil here, man. There's a freaking devil over there. Oh, well. I mean, you already told me that in your comments, you know. Need to break these chains that bind. Yeah, this is, this is not a good match. I would not be trying to reconcile at all. I, from the comments that I got um, from you, it doesn't look like your reconciliation. And I don't know about celibacy when this card comes up. Just saying. Jorge. 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 <laughs> Freaking chariot. Chariot says you're getting the hell out of Dodge. Hey, if the roof's on fire, we let that mother humper burn around here, man. Um, chariot heads were the star, my friend, huh? Yeah, oh man, leaving that toxicity behind right there. Oh, good night, Irene, man. It's a card of victory right here, brother. It is. It's a card of victory. It's a card, you know, you can see the damn forest fire going on back there. You look amazing in your chariot. Ha! Mush! 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 <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Give me one around here. So that is a nice card of victory about breaking chains and bind. Beautiful, beautiful card of healing came out. Maybe, maybe somebody's sweet. This is an earth angel right here. It's temperance. It's a beautiful card of healing, spending time with source, believing for nothing but the best for you. That's fun, ain't it? 
<laughs> when you're ready, when you're ready, right? Chariot to Temperance. This is my Earth Angel right here. This is not an Earth Angel over here. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, wow, wow. Maybe when you are ready, wow. Ah, oh, the lovers. This talks about somebody special for you, man. But I do see an ending. I do see an ending. It's a big old sword there. There's a big sword there. That's about death, birth, resurrection, and major transformation. And maybe somebody special for you, you know. When you're ready. But this this is a finality, if you ask me. It's in the cards. It's in the cards. So my emperor can get in his chariot. I don't know, maybe go hang out with an earth angel around here. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Let's see what Gendron has to say around here. I do see... I do see an ending to a situation that's rather toxic. Okay? Let's go. Let's go. And I see a love story here too, man, from my emperor seated in their throne. Seated in their power. Me some on that emperor, please. Uh, three cups came out. Uh-huh. Well, that's not your problem. Can I just be brutally honest with you? That's not your problem. You know, when somebody, when your lover tells you that they need to take a break, let them take a break. Yeah, they don't know what to do. I see you right here. Oh. You know, if somebody needs a break, I give them a break. It's probably why I'm single. Because, you know, I need a break. It means more than I need a break. Anyway, frickin' Three Cups showed up. Frickin' Three Cups showed up right there by the devil. Right there by that devil. Uh... So, you know, I got to give three cups what three cups could mean when it says they're by that devil, man. Um, it's not, you know, it's not, it's not your responsibility to take care of these people. It, it probably was at one time, you know, if they were faithful to you, they were faithful and true to you. Um, but, you know, husband and wife, yes, it's your responsibility for both of you to take care of each other. But if they break in that uh, sanctimoniousness of that situation, they broke it. And, uh... I don't know, I don't know. Wow, freaking Ace of Swords came out, you know. <laughs> Shit, man. Uh, true that, I can say that whenever Ace of Swords come out, I've been chatting. But that is a sharp sword that cuts the ties of mind. It's also a card of clarity, um, truthfulness. Now, the chariot right here. So I see this coming to an end. And yes, I want you to follow your gut. Your gut's being straight up with you. I believe these cards are too. It's not your responsibility. If they cut the ties, they cut them. This is about you going and finding something sweet right here. See? Look what came out on the chariot. Ten cups. Ten cups for you. It's right here. It's not your responsibility. Uh, there's two swords right here, man. Three cups and a devil. That's enough for me as a tarot reader to be like, get in your chariot and go find your bliss. It's showing up here on your spread. It's showing up here on your spread. Chariot tears heading for ten cups. There's an earth angel right there and the lovers. And take your money with you too. Follow the leading and the guiding of the divine. That's the high priestess. 
Look at this, man. Eight pentacles, ten cups, and a high priestess came out. Oh, man. This is a high priestess, man. This is love and money, dude. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, okay, man. All right, my friend. Do what's best for you. Do what's best for you, my Libra. Cards are powerful here about uh, a high priestess, an earth angel coming in here maybe uh, to work with you. Somebody that puts the elbow grease in a, in a relationship. Ten cops. Uh, Freaking gorgeous, man. Give me some on the loving. Six cups came out on the lovers. Uh, this is a beautiful soulmate, past life lover that I'm looking at right here in this spread, man. Ooh, wow. Very nice, man. Very nice, yes. And the love, and the love. The love pony. This is a, pa this is a beautiful past life lover. Comes out in here from my emperor, earth angel, high priestess. Ooh, man, you want some of this? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that talks about new. Boom, daddy, boom, boom as well. Oh, lordy, man. It says, get in your boat. Get in your boat, man. Go on over. Go on over that river of sticks right there. We learned a damn enough life, life lessons on this journey. Get in your boat, man. Get in your boat. That's what it's talking about, man. It's not your responsibility. Once they broke that, once they broke that thing right there, man, that's enough, man. That's enough. We're not playing baseball. You don't get three strikes. You get one. Anyway, that's me, though. I'm just that way, man. But look at this right here, man. Save yourself five years, man. Look at this right here. It's absolutely gorgeous. All right, let's see what uh, Goddess Guidance has to say. Independent came out. Your independence is a foundation for your strength and your success. Blossoming came out. And a past life lover came out with Isis. Oh, look at look at look at who this is. Oh, man, you don't want to miss out on that. <laughs> oh, my love, Jorge. I hope you got some out of that, my friend. Follow the leading and the guiding of the divine. Don't ever let anybody tell you don't trust your gut. All my love, my friend. Go on with yourself, man. Gods are with you, my friend. Love and light, love and light. All right. Where are we at? Nine-tailed fox. Want some, want some love cards here tonight. Want to know about your friend. Corin. Are you meant to be together? Or are you twin flame? Oh, you're a Libra. And your friend is an Aquarian. Ariana. Libra and Aquarius. I mean, any book you read, man. Those two, uh, those two, those two, um, they could have a strong union. Those two understand each other, right? They're both there. So, are you meant to be together, which uh, probably means there's maybe, I don't know, 
little distance right now, maybe. Are you twin flame? Well, nobody would know better than you would, right? That old twin flame, that's just that knowing. I want to see what your cards have to say. I got twin flame cards that I, I see your twins. Where is some lead, bro? Make a good match. Personally, personally, I mean, I'm an Aquarian. I haven't, I haven't met a, a Libra that I don't like. Uh, I like um, every Libra that I've met. Well, especially the ladies. <laughs> oh damn. Anyway. Um, are you living a distance? Oh, Lord, hey. And he's in the Netherlands. Oh. Hey, um, is there an age difference? Just curious. Is there an age difference? Many times with the twins, there is an age difference. Um, many times divine masculine is younger than divine feminine. You know, that fuels that, that fire and all that. At a distance. Oh, Lord, help us all, man. All right. Mariana, let's play some tarot, my friend. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. Just curious. I said many times. Many times there's an age difference. Let's see what the tarot wants to talk about. At Ariana. Ariana. Corinne. What do we got, love team? The magician showed up around here. That is my uh, as above, so below card. As within, so without. The old magician right here. Positive thoughts and positive words. Inspired action. Oh, Lordy, as above, so below showed up. As within, so without. Here we go. Here we go. I'm giggling because, you know, that's the emperor right there looking at a magician. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Uh, the old emperor just showed up around here. Oh, looking at a magician. Wow. Oh, it, oh, Father Time just showed up. Oh, Lordy. Oh, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> that's a Virgo card. It's the hermit, you know. That's that quiet time. Oh, Lord. Wind, source. Wind. <laughs> oh, the father time. Nowadays, they put the lantern, but back in the old days, they gave him the, they gave him the hourglass over there. Oh, father time just showed up. Oh, Lord. Well... Is this you, the sun? Wow, is that a yes card? That's a yes card, ain't it? Okay, okay. And, uh, well, she's just enjoying her life, you know. She's just enjoying her life. Father Time's on here, the emperor. My, my, my empress, can I say that? Can I say the empress on her white steed? She's enjoying her life. She's not shutting her life down. You know, she's out enjoying life. It's Father Time's here. <laughs> uh -huh. 
Oh, oh Lord. Ariana. 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 What do we got? Give me one. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's uh, the old wheel of destiny. <laughs> oh, the wheel of destiny. Oh, there's somebody on their white steed right there. See, now she's just been out and doing her life. She's been taking care of herself, taking care of her world. And, you know, here comes the white steed. Um, oh, these could look like twin flame cards. They certainly could. That's the wheel of destiny. That's the sun. That's father time. That's the emperor looking at the magician, my deliberate creator. Well, enjoy the journey. <laughs> Looks like two white steeds may run into each other, see? See, every picture got a thousand words. Oh, look at the little angel pointing at that wheel. Wow, I love tarot, man. Look, but this is not sitting around. This is enjoying your life. Letting it unfold. Being the magician, positive thoughts, positive words, inspired action. Let's have some fun. Let's play some more tarot around here. Ariana. Ariana. Magician. A King of Pentacles came out. That's the king of the world. This is my magician manifesting their King of Pentacles. Their king of the world. There they are right there. You know, that's a that's a commitment card for me. It's the King of Pentacles. The magician. It came out on the magician and the emperor looking at a magician. Positive thoughts, positive words, inspired action. <laughs> Father time. Father time. Wow, Major Arcana came out on that. Transformation. All right, death, birth, resurrection, major transformation. You might be on twin flame journey, kid. You might be. Oh, look what came out though, the sun. Here comes the sun, do 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 do. The sun, the, Father Time, ringing the bell right here. Father Time looking at the sun. This one's got a different picture of the sun. It's got, a, it's got an angel right here coming, bringing a star to a little sugar baby. Wow. Pulling major arcanas out of a full deck. The only minor I got so far is that face card, that king of pins, you know, the king of the world. Says that that's what my son baby's manifesting. Positive words and positive thoughts. Another major. An emperor in a boat. Ooh. An emperor in a boat. Isn't that interesting? And they be coming for the sun. They be coming for the sun. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and then look at this right here, man. Look at this, another major arcana. Wow, you pulled you pulled all major arcanas except this face card right here, this king of the world, that the magician is manifesting through positive thoughts and positive words and inspired action. But yet enjoying your life one day at a time because Father Time is on here. But the death card as well it does talk about transformation and the emperor to the sun and then um, the beautiful, beautiful judgment. There's my earth angel right there. Um, and this is a card about Phoenix from its ashes, right? Rebirth energy. Um, a new day dawning. So 
Would I say you're a twin? Yeah, probably. Probably. I don't think it's as rare as um, we've been told, you know. Oh, it's so rare to be a twin flame. Uh, it's not rare at all. Because if it was rare, then how come twin flame readings get, you know, 50,000 views? It's not rare. And I do see a union right here, my friend. I do. There's a period. I mean, Father Time is here. I know I giggled, but Father Time is on there with transformation, right? Death, birth, resurrection, major transformation. That's why I want you out in the sun enjoying your life. Now, that helps speed up the process. A lot of, a lot of twins sit around wringing the hands and... Um, get themselves stuck way up here, you know. Oh, it's got to come together. Source, you told me. You told me. It's the mission. It's, we're going to save the world. No, no. 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 There's no mission. There's no mission. It's your life journey right here. Get that mission crap out of your head, my 20 twins. No. I want Divine Feminine to come back down here out of the out of the out of the ethers, back into their soul, back into their soul right here, back into the soul. These are soul journeys right here, because that helps divine masculine come up into their soul. We can have a soul union right here, right? Give me a love card. Give me a love card. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, playfulness, oh see, playfulness, enjoy the journey, enjoy the journey, may all your dreams come true my friend, love and light, love and light. All right, all right. Now, many times, too, I mean, Divine Masculine may not even know that they're on a twin flame journey. Because really, Divine Feminine, male or female, is the enlightened one on these journeys. So be the enlightened one. Andrea. My Andrea. My Andrea. Andrea Murray. Going to pull you up. Some love cards, huh, doll? A movie spread for my Andrea. Uh, Andrea is 16, and uh, Jessica, Jessica is 17. Okay, Andrea, let's go. Let's wait with uh, Tara Luminati. Little love thread here from Andrea. Andrea, we want some love cards around here. First card out, oh, Lodi. The Pale Rider, <laughs> damn it. Damn it, that is the sun rising up there. Death, birth, resurrection. Whew. Major transformation. That's a big Scorpio card right there. It does have the promise of a sunrise. <laughs> Whew. Whew. We're looking for some love cards around here, please. <laughs> Andrea. Andrea. Hangman. Damn it. We need some love around here. But Hangman is in that tree right there. I, I like this deck, Andrew, because it shows Source coming in here and bring Hangman out of that tree. Hangman thinking differently and feeling differently, believing differently about love these days, I would say. I 
just saw a devil. Let the devils be where the devils be. Wow, justice. I'm happy to say justice came out. Cotton ties that bind and in karmic cycles. Thinking differently, feeling differently, believing differently. In agreement with the divine. Justice talks about the weighing of the conditions of people's hearts and the scale swelling in your favor. The lovers just showed up. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Justice and the lovers. Well, I'm always rooting for new around here. Because I saw the freaking devil. Devil, death, hangman. Came out with justice. Came out with justice, Andrea. To the lovers. So I'm rooting for new around here. Give me one. Give me one. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, divine feminine energy, the moon, and a tower. And that's about change and about getting off a smoky trail. The tower, hangman, the moon card. Get your rest, get your sleep. There's some change coming in here. Justice in the love arena. And a chariot. With the yin-yang ponies on it. I'm hoping it's a new friend coming charging down. Oh, an emperor. <laughs> an emperor in a chariot. Coming down the street now. I don't see any kind of reconciliation cards with you. I'm just going to be honest with you. Nope. I see change. Death, birth, resurrection, major transformation. Get your rest. Get your sleep. Coming off a of smoky trail. Coming out of Hangman Street. Justice, the lovers, the chariot, and an emperor. Looking like new to me, my friend. Want you love it on yourself. You don't have to spoil yourself a little bit. Andrea. 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 Oh, it has been uh, challenging right here. This is, uh, she's out there, you know, it's like five pins or something. She's out there in her garden of, of, of love and she's been sowing some seeds. She's been sowing seeds in that garden of love. I see harvest time right here. Wow, look at what came out. Getting to know each other. Feels new to me. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Well, that would be justice to the lovers. Chariot and an emperor. Oh, and the old classic, let your friends help you. Yeah, let your friends help you pack. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, attraction is about being in the now and being in the moment. Smelling the roses. Letting the past be in the past. All my love, Andrea. It shows a new world to me. All my love to you, my friend. May all your dreams come true. All right, my Jessica. My Jessica. Jessica Ann is 17. Dawn. And Marco is 18. And then Kim Z. And then I'm going to go get some supper. Jessica. My Jessica, are you in the house, Jessica? We're going to pull some cards about you and Roberto. I hope you're out enjoying your life. I hope you're not sitting around wringing the hands. You know. Oh, we, need a, we need our vibration nice and high. Yeah. Let's see what's going on around here. My Jessica. 
I'm going to play with the star man right here, Jessica. You know, I, I, I pulled cards for you and Roberto several times, so I know that you got deep, deep feels for Roberto. But, you know, before I pull any cards here, I want to remind you that there's 8 billion people on the planet. So I want you out enjoying your day, okay? Now let's see what the tarot says around here. Or my Jessica, my Jessica, give me one, give me one, man, give me one, man, give me one, man. A tower, hmm, it's an interesting card. It is a card about sudden change. It can, it can go all the way back to a fallout with you and uh, Roberto. Um, you know, that's a god striking a tower. That's where the lightning bolt comes from. It comes from the gods. And it shows you being very patient. That's temperance. They got some soulmates in their hand. A lot of faith for that card. Here's that strength card. Here's that strength card. Temperance and strength after a tower. Now that now that card's got two lions on it. it does. <laughs> Although I always get cards about a reconciliation with you and Roberto. Oh, they're here again. <laughs> They're here again. <laughs> oh my goodness, are they here? I always get cards of reconciliation, even though I'd be I'd be reminding eight billion people on the planet. I don't want you sitting around. I want you out enjoying your life. Let's spoil yourself a little bit. Strength and temperance. Now, now. How many cards I got here? One, two, three, four, five. And they do talk about a reconciliation again. First one is the sun. I think the sun comes out with you and Roberto regularly. Now that is a card of union. And then here's Roberto. I would assume it's the emperor, huh? There's my empress over there in the palace. She's loving on herself. She's spoiling herself over here. <laughs> she's not wringing her hands. No, no, she's not. And then uh, there is a rebirth card right here. And it's it's here. It's it's it. it, it Every time I pull cards for you, it talks about this. But there is temperance, and there is strength, and there is loving yourself. Let's see, here, here's the Empress as well. <laughs> here's the Empress as well. It's right over here on the, this rebirth card. The Emperor, the Empress, the Sun, and the Wheel of the Return. These cards come out here for you regularly, do they not? This is your story right here. You're probably over here and with the strength card and focusing on the tower. You know, what you think and what you feel and what you believe is what you're going to manifest. And I want you to maybe realize that you're a multidimensional being in a multi-universe. And this might be a new world over here. This might be a new earth over here. You're not going to get to this new earth if you're focused on the, on the past. Huh? 
I personally don't think you can change your future unless you do change your past. Some people call that shadow work. I just call it raising my vibration and going to my new earth where this is the story. But it keeps showing up in your spread. Jessica. Let's see what Gendron has to say. Tower, please. <laughs> Is that the sudden change? The telephone ringing? Is that the new earth? The telephone is ringing. Is that the sudden change? Could be. I always get the story of the Emperor, the Empress, Rebirth, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Sun. Every time I pull cards here for you. Oh, that's a chair hit, man. Where's she going? To a new earth? Chariot to the star. Look at that. That's a card of victory. It's a card about letting the past be in the past. Ooh. Oh, I think Swartz is going to teach you something around here. This is a golden coin. There's a golden coin on the sun. There's the queen of pins. On the emperor. <laughs> Um, Judgment has, uh, ten cups. You know, the happy ever after is on the rebirth right there. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles is on the, on the Emperor. The, the, the Ace of Pins is on the Sun. The Chariot is on the Strength card. Eight Wands is on Michael in the Tower. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Again, I mean, look at this is nine. This is nine pins right here. That's my that, now. This is my independent, self-assured, divine feminine. Right. Tuned into source. Look at all the birds. It's always source to me. Look at all the birds. Okay. I came out of my empress right here. And on the wheel of the return is a communication card, right? A, a page of pentacles, which would make 10 pentacles. And it's about, it's this ace right here. It's this ace right here. And uh, that came out on the sun and the emperor. Uh, about somebody thinking long and hard. You know, about a coffee date. <laughs> Uh, that's the story that keeps coming up. So you you may have to let the past be in the past. I don't again. I don't know if you can change your future unless you change your past. And the interesting thing about what I believe about being a multidimensional being in a multiverse is. Um, when you change your past. And you're in this new energy right here. That past may not seem like it has changed. You, you may line up with that new memory, new memory of the past. But anyway, all that kind of multidimensional stuff and multi-universe, that could explain a lot of stuff about, you know, the Mandela effect. We all think differently what the past was, because we're all individuals creating our own reality. Oh, no, look, it's soulmate came out. I want you to go to this world right here. You understand what I'm talking about? Maybe you do. <laughs> Maybe you don't. I understand what I'm talking about. It's like change your past so you can change your future. Go down in there and love on yourself from an engagement. Every time I pull cards here for you, this is a yes, 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 yes. So you must be, you must be shifting your reality 
to uh, manifest this new reality that's on this spread right here. Anyway, all my love, Jessica. All my love, my friend. May all your dreams come true. Jessica always pulls that stuff out of me, man. <laughs> oh, well. Let's do it, my Dawn. My Dawn, Don DeMarco, and then Kim Z. Kim Z. All right, Dawn, what you thinking about tonight? What you thinking about tonight? Let me see if Dawn left me a note. Just a, just, just an Aquarius. Okay, all right, Aquarius. Aquarius. Okay, my friend. All right, Don, my Aquarius friend. Well, 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 well. I love my Aquarius. They've always got somebody that's jealous of them. How come things always work out good for you, Aquarius? <laughs> anyway, why am I feeling that right there, Don? Hmm. Now he's got somebody sitting over there on the sidelines. Clarence gets all the blessings. We don't get none of them. <laughs> I'm like channeling here. All right, man. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's see what's going on, my friend. Let's play with the old Tarot Illuminati tonight. What you got? Level two? Yep. All right. Dawn, my Aquarius friend. What's the tarot I want to talk about? Dawn. Dawn. Here we go. First card out. A new world. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even, even all those grumpy ones. How come Aquarius always gets the new world? We never get a new world. <laughs> a new world, my friend. Ooh la la, an old cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. Aquarius is on this card along with Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. Damn, I like it for you. It got you on your throne. Venus and love. Abundance. Love and abundance showing up in your, in your new world. Yeah, Aquarius. Wow, dreams coming to you. No wonder they're jealous. <laughs> No wonder the, 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 the star puts out hell fire. That star puts out hell fire. It's a new world where dreams come true that showed up here. Love and abundance has showed up as well. Oh, well, let's just go on with it then. Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. Yeah. No wonder they're jelly. <laughs> you have the uncommon favor of the gods right here. Oh. Wow, that's interesting. Temperance in the Hierophant. Oh. In the land where the sun shines. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, my empress. You know, she's about birthing a new world. Star's about healing. Puts out hell's fire. See, because there's a cycle right there that ended. A karmic cycle that ended right there. Here comes the sun. This is nice. And then, and then the angel of the middle way. And a hair fan. Okay, dokey. Let's uh let's play with Jen drawing my Aquarius friend. An old cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. Got you back on your throne. The Empress, Venus incarnate in the earth. The 
There's my Aquarius star right there. Drinking in all that sunshine. And uh, Michael, Michael showed up, the angel of the middle way, huh? The art of allowance. You know, learning that art form of allowing nothing but the best into your life. Well, that's a new cycle to step into. And a big hair pant. Big little spiritual hair pant right there. Dawn. Oh, that's you, darling. It's my Earth Angel world card. You, you pulled the world card on the world card, kid. Impressive. Oh my God, and and judgment. Oh, no wonder I was uh, channeling the little naysayers. Oh, they may have touched the beloved of the divine. <laughs> Oh, look at your cards right here, man. Major Arcana's Don coming out of uh, a full deck. My Earth Angel. It's a new world. And that's judgment. It, you know, it is Phoenix from its ashes, but, you know, you cleared an old cycle right there. Judgment. There may be some people standing before the gods having to answer for themselves if they touch the beloved right there. Just saying. Wow, another major arcana. Look at this, man. The Scorpio card. Oh my goodness, man. Death by judgment. Ooh. Well, <laughs> it's a beautiful card of transformation for you. Death, birth, resurrection, major transformation on my empress. Yes. Yes. And look what's on the star. Ah, the king of the world. The king of the world is on the star. Look what came out on the sun. The golden coin. You know about a new beginning, something touchable and tangible. Wow. Look what came out. <laughs> yeah. Temperance to the hair pad. Temperance to the hair pad. Here we go. The telephone is ringing. Look at that. Eight ones. And then the chariot. Oh my goodness, the Queen of Pins is here. Oh, the Queen of Pins is here. Queen of Pins is here. Oh my God, ten cops. <laughs> oh, ten cops. The King of Pins. The Queen of Pins. An Ace of Pins. I got uh, Cupid's there with the Love on uh, Temperance. And, uh, well, the Chariot, the Chariot, the Chariot on the hair plant, you know. That's as it go. The telephone is ringing, yeah. You got me on the run. <laughs> I'm driving in my car now. Anticipating fun. That nine pinnacles in an offer. Nine pinnacles and a page of pinnacles. Oh my goodness, my Aquarius friend. That's the little house on the hill. That's the little house on the hill. <laughs> Aquarius. <laughs> Give me a love card around here. Give me a love card around here. That's some special stuff showing up. Here we go. Here we go. I just saw, I just saw forgiving, forgiving and learning. Oh, it's right there. Yeah, no. How come Aquarius always gets all the good stuff? <laughs> Get out of here, man. And then look, soulmate showed up over here. Soulmate showed up over here, my friend. Oh, because you've been busy, that's why. Because, uh, well, you spend time with the divine. 
That's why that's why all the good stuff comes in here. Because you spend time with the divine. All my love. All my love. Gone. All right, McKim Z. I'm glad it popped up too, Carolyn. Go ahead and smash that subscription button right there. Sub up, sub up. Yeah, it's been a long time with uh, YouTube, I don't know, removing subscriptions. They're so They can be handy like that. They can just come in here and clean things up here for you. Anyway, I'm glad you caught me too. <laughs> nice to see you, my friend. All right. And this brings me to my Kim. My Kim Z. New career. New love. New money. Hey, Kim. Kimsey, new money, new love, money, come to me now, love, come to me now, love, money, I'm talking to you, love, I'm talking to you, I know you hear me. Money, come to me now. <laughs> oh, is that right? Is that right, Kim? Money. Money. You know a lot about money um, is, uh, well, trying to remember that uh, source can bring money 360 degrees around us. You know, but the world and their system likes to teach us that there's only one funnel. There's only one funnel for you. But Source can bring it in 360 around us, right? I got funnels all around me. I tried to remember not to just accept from one funnel. You know what I'm talking about? As I get up on the table and I talk to money, money, come to me. Come from the north, the south, the east, the west. Money, I'm talking to you today. I know you hear me, money, because I know you're looking for me. Just want to let you know I'm right here. Money, come to me now. Huh? Yeah, you got a birthright. Let's have some fun, Kim. Money and love for my Kim. What we got right here? Oh, my high priestess. Well, I just talked about birthright, didn't I? Yeah, you look angelic. Priestess of the moon. The keeper of the mysteries of the collective unconscious. She knows. She knows. Let's see what's going on with my high priestess. The keeper of the mysteries of the collective unconscious. Here we go, here we go, Kim. Oh, justice came out, hey, snap! <laughs> Sing, you win, what's going on around here? If things have been out of balance, I mean, that's a nice card. Of the God's getting involved around here. Wow, when a win a chicken dinner showing up after that. You know, that old wheel of fortune right there. And the wheel spins around here. And Kim takes the lead. Money, come to me now. <laughs> wow, that's the scales falling in your favor, my high priestess. That, that is called the wheel of fortune right there. Win a winner, chicken dinner. Wow, that's definitely about a change for the better, if you ask me. Huh? 
Give me some more. Kim. Kim. Wow, love and abundance came out, Kim. Go on with yourself. <laughs> See yourself on your throne. Money, come to me. Love, come to me. I'm talking to you, money. I'm talking to you, love. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune, the Empress. Coming up and coming out, my high priestess. The Keeper of the Mysteries. She knows. She knows in her knower. She knows in her knower that justice is hers. She knows in her knower that the wheel is hers. You know, could that be your birthright and all of that? There you are, seated on your throne. Venus incarnate in the earth. Nice cards about uh, change for the better. There's a star, dream dreamer. Dream dreamer. Sun. <laughs> Sun. You know, that's the best card in the tarot deck. It's about abundance. It's about love. And she knows right here now. Now, she's not afraid to get in there and do some studies, too, you know. Maybe a little law of attraction, maybe a little law of vibration, maybe a little quantum physics, you know. Looks to me like she's manifesting a new earth over here. She's manifesting a new world. If things are balanced out for her, the wheel spins in her favor. Seated on her throne, love and abundance. Star. Ooh, a lot of healing with the star. I love the star. It puts out all kinds of hellfire, too. To the sun, baby. <laughs> you know, this is about epiphanies and enlightenment and greater understandings, you know, of the laws of the universe and how to use them effectively to manifest what you want in your world. Star babies. All right. Let's play with some more around here. Kim. New money. New love. Favor. Uncommon favor with the gods. Kim, my high priestess. Well, there's a great adventurer came out right here. The great adventurer it could be, you know, stepping out into a new energy, a new world. Um, that's my Knight of Wands. They are the great adventurer. New adventure. Give me some justice, please. Um, four pentacles. Um, I mean, this can be a card of, you know, I don't know, like I was talking about earlier, right? It can be a, a card of limitation that, you know, my coins can only come one way. Um, that's the only way my coins can come. And the great adventurer, um, Thinks differently, I would say that. They're very excited, they're very passionate. Justice is on this right here. Give me more on that, please. Kim. Um, that's a beautiful Seven of Cups. Um, big rose right in the middle of it. I could talk about that 360 degrees. Look at all those cups around my rose right there. Hmm. Hmm. You may have money coming in from new avenues. 
You, you, I mean, you could, you know, because a great adventurer, if you're looking for a new, if you're looking for a new job, you could find that right there with that seven of cups. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I see you learning to accept uh, money from all around. And, I mean, if you're looking for love, too, right? Seven of Cups with a big rose in it right there. That's a fun spread. Look at Justice came out on the wheel. Again. Justice came out here for you. We're, we're looking at... Uh, New career, new money, new love. Wow. I see you thinking and feeling differently probably about all of that. I see the gods in agreement with you. Oh, wow. Look who came out on the Empress. What do you think about all that? Wow, an Emperor. Oh. Oh. Oh, an Emperor just showed up around here after Justice. Oh, wow, Kim. Oh, there's a great adventurer. There's, they see the rose. Justice on your wheel, darling. Damn. It's time for change for you. My high priestess. That's a nice, man. Uh, this is very nice. Beautiful star. It's about dreams coming true. And how about that emperor just showed up on that empress like that? Star. Uh, that's three wands, darling. That looks like your ship's coming in. And I'm just going to go ahead and shout this and that is on that boat. The source has got you thinking and feeling differently these days about justice in your money and justice in your love life. Got you on a new adventure where the wheel spins in your favor. You know, because justice is on it. The wheel spins in your favor. And then that, that emperor on that empress, that's, that's nice. And, and the star... Seeing the ships come in. To the sun, please. To the sun. Ooh, it is a change in your thought process about money. This is a change in the way you think and you feel and you believe about money. See? That's like lack. And this is, um, well, then the Six of Pentacles is here as well. See, the, the scales again. This justice is on here twice. Once for money, and I would say once for love. <laughs> um... But this is you playing the scales different. You know, it's not this lack mentality. This isn't lack mentality. This is entrepreneur energy, actually. And, uh, I don't know. New ideas, new thoughts, and more coins, kid. More coins. Uh, new ideas, new thoughts. Maybe some kind of... Well, there's definitely a partnership right here. I see new, 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 my friend. Let's play with Goddess Guidance, see what Goddess Guidance. Because I got an emperor and an empress right here. I also got a difference in the way you think and how you feel and how you believe. Right there, my high priestess. She's got some books in her hands. She does. Kim. 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 Independent came out. Your independence is a foundation for your strength and your success. What are those? Are those a bunch of golden coins around her? Bass showed up. 
I never noticed those coins before. I like them. <laughs> Golden cats. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's my earth angel. And she seems to be looking at her world in a whole new, with all new eyes. Fun, 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 fun. Peace came out. Peace came out. Says there's nothing to worry about for everything is working out beautifully. That's a nice card, man. All my love, Kim. May all your dreams come true, my friend. Love and light. All right, my lovelies. Had an amazing time with you tonight. Thanks for swinging by. Actually, I got 34 of you still around. Thank you, my friends. Appreciate you also very, very much. Um, tomorrow night, Saturday Night Live with the Nation. Going to give away a couple T-shirts. All my members watch from my community post tomorrow so you can say hi to me and get your name in on the wheel. Grab a tea. Give away a couple of them tomorrow. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I might do uh, the pick a deck. Um, but I might do um, what I call my love and spirituality spreads. We'll see how that goes. We'll see what I we'll see what I put together for tomorrow. I might do my love and spiritualities. Those are fun. I did those maybe well, probably over a year ago. But anyway, I'm looking forward to it. Thanks everybody for coming to playing tarot with me tonight. I'll see many of you tomorrow night, six p.m. Eastern, huh? Give me a minute around here. I'm gonna go get something to eat. And uh, I will timestamp everything soon and very soon, my lovelies. All my love. Have a great night. Namaste. Bye for now.